please hey. please no hey Hello, travelers what's up dude so hey. at the beginning of the la or the ending of the last session i was like hey i start casting lesser elemental because some shit's happening do I do I have time to get that off? Oh no! Oh no! No 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 no! Uh, nice. <laughs> oh no! Okay. I just want just wanted to make sure. Okay. I'll I'll do it. I'll spend all ten rounds casting this. Mm. It's more than ten rounds. It's it'll be minute, sixty. Yeah. It'll be sixty rounds. I'm pressing right? next to doubt. Oh, I thought it was ten minutes to cast. No, it. one minute. No, it's one minute. Okay, so you all knew what was coming today. Yep. Mm. Death. Yeah. Yeah. Big boy fight time. So prepare for trouble. So please, at this time, take careful stock of every consumable that you have, every ability that you possess. Set yourselves up in a formation facing towards the west. Uh, I'm not on the correct map. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Surprise! You're not in this fight. Clap. I mean, I can just, I can just pretend I'm casting the spell. I'll do it. I'll cast it for all ten rounds. selected that's the other one i need okay yeah chad i know that my mic is auto adjusting i don't know what's wrong with it i haven't had time to fix it i'm gonna figure it out don't worry just probably gonna have to deal with it today <clears throat> all right here we go well actually it's, it's a quick fix i know all about microphones and streaming i do too i, I do tried this. to talk to you about it earlier well i was i had to prep what what do i do <laughs> well, do you want to do it now or do you not want to do it now? Well, how long do you think it'll take? Like well, it's... first, first, um, it's, it's potentially easy fix is uh, right click the the fucking speaker thing in the bottom right. Go to Boom. uh, you don't me. don't listen to Moon. Don't Sound to settings. Moon. Well, I think it it's exclusive mode, right? It's, that's what's fucking it up. Right? I, I have that disabled already. Okay, all right, never mind then. Let's, <laughs> let's just go. Let's just go. <laughs> Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Let's go. Are I'm you ready? ready? Yeah, I am. Show me. I am as show ready me. as. Show me what's going to kill me. Uh, snap. I want break. to die. So can you? Oh, never mind. Sorry. There's already outlines and shit. I was gonna say, is that actual line of sight? Oh no. 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 Ignore those. This is. Oh, okay. This is different. <clears throat> okay. All right. I was worried. Stir. Yeah? I need you to make a decision. Me. I need you Whoa. to choose three of your refractions. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> called it. Rock off, dude! Do I get to understand any context of this? Nope. Um. You just have so many that you have to choose three. <laughs> I don't know if I should pick three good ones or three bad ones. I can tell you it doesn't like their power level and all that it doesn't matter. It's uh it's but their character themes do, so Okay, character themes do matter. Uh can I pick Alexander? Yep. Yeah. He was already here. Let's keep him relevant. Let's keep the whole jerk train going. Alexander number one. Um hold on. I wrote my full list down somewhere. Bring in Gruff. I feel like Gruff and Huckleberry get along. Gruff has dealt with enough. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Gruff is enough. Leave Gruff out of this. Could I theoretically even pick Guy, even though he's already here? No, Guy is here, so you can't. You, okay, he's your current iteration. You can't have two guys. Yeah, I don't know where I wrote this I'll give a um, recap after I get all my things put away, chat room. Don't worry, you're gonna get your recap. I'll choose Aaron. Aaron, all right. And Psyduck. <laughs> and bring the whole Glaeus crew back together and choose Rakoth. Yeah! Okay, Moon, you get Azalon. Dick kick him. <laughs> um, and you get... Uh... What the fuck was the paladin's name? I forget the name of the paladin's name. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> Very forgettable guy. It was like, a, it started with a B, I think. Bald, Bald, Baldaris, Baldaris, Broderick. 
Broderick, Broderick sounds right. Yeah, Broderick. Yeah. Okay, Broderick. Fuck that guy. Excellent. Okay, Baru has Kairos. And Octo and Huckleberry do not have refractions, but nah. they but... do get something. Ooh. Quick, make a new make a new character. Because uh, just think one up real I, fast. If I could put both of these the paladin in this, you better believe I would. <laughs> Bo both of these in his horse popsicles. Dude, that's my <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> It's like my favorite character. He talks like the tuna from SpongeBob. Rakath. It's Chiboy. I haven't done his voice in forever either, so fuck. I, I don't even remember what his voice sounds like. Are you this oh, snake? <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> Typical uh, lizard folk fitting the stereotype. I found Ashley. Well, Ashley found Ashley's notes too, so I went through those as well. She had a whole bunch of the Galeas notes. You should post all of those. <laughs> There's so much garbage in them that makes no sense. It might. It might be important. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna put in chat the 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 very important part that we all need to know. <laughs> Actually, wait, no. This was her notes on Rakath. I don't know what it means. Let's see. Stopped what an archer, stopped plague? a child, caught an almanac spy. What the fuck is a child plague? You I got, don't remember the arson. You, you don't. You don't remember. I don't the, remember uh, any of that. There, there was a plague that specifically targeted kids that you guys are trying to solve. Don't don't recall at all. I, I don't remember. Yeah. Okay. My sh my shitty dementia brain. <laughs> I remember the important parts. I remember Jimothy Jam Slams. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the the breeding pits. I remember the soul sucker guy. Uh, the skin stealer. I think they're the same person. Of course, I remember the Omanax. Shadow also, fell. Very top tier note she took. <laughs> Ogner. <laughs> Well, that was from a different campaign. Yeah, that's the other one. And yet he did get dead by an Ogner. <laughs> sure did. <laughs> All right. And also, you will not be facing this challenge alone because Ooh. through the ethereal drift of the dream realm, a traveler appears. <gasps> it's time. All right. Sick. And I will be rolling how long Another until corpse. he can enter. Round five. <laughs> oh. Sick. We'll see. <laughs> Dude, he's just going to join in when we're, all, when we're all dead. See you tomorrow, man. That's, that's, <laughs> all, that's a lot of rounds. Hokely dokely, neighborinos. Set up your formation facing west. Uh, Where a car is standing, is that a door? I got this. Where you're, this where, like a... where you're standing doesn't matter. This is all going to change, so just... Oh. Uh, all right. Are we about get to get me. Lavos, dude? Are we about get to get Dan behind me? Oof. I'm standing, I'm standing over here. What are you... Okay. Aren't we facing, facing west, facing, right? So... Facing west? Yep. Facing west. Okay. Uh, okay. Y'all might want to spread out. Yeah, maybe a little. Or stand all right next to each other. <laughs> Get fireballed. Look, man, I got short, stubby legs. I only have 25 feet of movement. Actually, hang on. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So, let's do a quick recap. So, last time on Shattered Crowns, our heroes, after a series of comical events, decided to go <laughs> deeper into the mouth of Quergg, where they unknowingly crossed into the dream. And whilst they were crossing into said dream, they Wait, hold on. Sorry. Uh, we entered the dream from Ariandel's temple. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, we didn't go deeper into the mouth. We we literally entered the dream from the temple. 
Oh, you guys went sorry. To... Oh, my bad. No, you're yeah, right. Yeah, this yeah, guy yeah. took a nap or whatever. Oh, yeah. that's yeah, right. He's, okay. he, yeah, sorry. he's currently sleeping. Okay. Yeah, that's right. No, you're correct. Uh, I'm just going to wake up. It's been a couple of weeks. Yeah. Could have sworn you guys yeah. went the dark route. But... Well, nope. We were going to, but then we didn't. Okay. Evil route. Anyway. All right. Blah, 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 blah. So going to Arendelle's temple, they decided to enter the dream using uh, Guy and the various methods. They then entered the dream and they were able to discover a a mysterious vestige of the past which was refracted through various individuals that walk amongst them it was revealed that scrumpo and guy specifically hold many different lies linked and mirrored throughout their uh, throughout their very hearts and also it would seem that even bar uh, excuse me not bar uh, big pipe also had a similar effect, although to a lesser degree. And as such, they discovered the statue of a stranger whose stone blade was left behind before they were noticed. Noticed by the enemy, a direct servant that has come to devour them. Its wrongness emanates throughout the dream, tearing apart the very threads of woad and own before finally to come upon them all. Uh, to be clear, who of us has the sword? You. Okay. Yeah, you hold it. <clears throat> okay, what is going on with my mic? People are freaking out, dude. Just get are really you... close and talk yeah, to it like this little... the whole time. Yeah. Your, your gate get closer. Gotten, sounds like your gate got turned up, but this is so annoying, yeah. man. Gate got well, turned it sounds, up. sounds whatever you're doing um, right now, it sounds perfect. Can you just check real quick on Go XLR yeah. under the gate setting if a tune attuation or whatever the hell you pronounce that, if that's not at 100 percent? It's not, it's at zero. Um, I think that should be 100. Okay, how about now? Now lean further back. Uh, I'm talking. No, your gate, your gate is slamming. Uh, what's the what's the gate DB set to? The or gate, is it not set the to? The gate DB is set to twenty seven. Lower it. Yeah, try lowering it. Sets that by a lot. Twenty. Lower. 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 Yeah, open the gate. Is that correct? How's that? Is that better? I'm like way over here now. I mean, you're like super far yeah, away, and we can still hear but... you. Why am I so quiet? I don't get this, dude. Um, did you lower the gate or your volume? I lowered the gate. I'm looking. Okay, under close the gate a little under... bit. Yeah, under compressor, you can also turn up makeup gain, and that'll make you louder. Okay, how about how about that? Okay. Good. Sounds I'm good. I'm leaning back. I'm leaning back. Okay. Is that better? Can you guys hear me? Yeah. yeah that is way better. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. No, about it's fine. You're fine. Very frustrating. I've been dealing with it all just day. Just make yourself louder in general. I have my volume all the way up. Oh. Just yell. How about that? Is that better? No. Yeah. That's good. Yes. Perfect. There we go. Okay. Oh, yes. Sorry. No, you're fine. Okay. Don't worry about it. All righty. Is everybody in formation? Everybody ready to slam? Yes. We are ready to yeah. slam and jam. Very well. And die. It can be. May the slams begin. Moon Moon, stir. You are released from your normal restraints. They will need your guidance. Here we go. Here's your music. Oh yeah, before we start, have you tapped at all since you uh since you changed PCs? Not even close, baby. <laughs> Hell Hell yeah. Taps. Hell yeah. I don't like the name of this. Yeah, that's a, oh, yeah, he effed your don't mom. Love that. Great. We're good. Fine. Uh, I get to bust out the custom made music. Feels great. I, I'm not a fan. I'm a fan, but not a fan. 
I'm playing in my Literally, the VR. description <laughs> of the tune is you're probably about to TPK. <laughs> Good luck, idiot. All right, the realm is covered with violet light. The room begins to shake and shift. Power flows in all directions as the dream realm is ripped asunder. The standing will of those presents is just enough in order to maintain, a, maintain your balance and step as you summon ground below you to give you but a chance to fight. <laughs> oh, don't like that. A creature shifts just beyond sight. It chews and tears and rips at the edge of reality before finally it invades the realm of dreams fully. And it stands before you, so to speak. Oh, we fighting a shambler? I'm okay. A creature right. that appears like a shadowy shark courses through the area. It glows with an inner violet light and looks down upon you with predatory eyes. Its teeth elongated and sharpened, dripping with anticipation. You can see that there is a large scar across its right eye that has not yet fully healed. All right, the time for mercy has passed. Time to give, show me what you got. It, I, that thing. That's 3000 HP. That's um, 3000 HP with 21 AC. Is this similar in any way to a nightshade? Yes. Like a, what the, like what's a, a nightshade? Eggplant? Nightshade is the shark from the shadow felt. Okay. Well, I, you were there, I think. Probably. <laughs> In the Viacan campaign, there was the fly around the sky shark. Oh. Guy, you gain uh, initiative. Uh, hold on a second. I have a diplomat's pack here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Real quick, I've got to go over all the different things that this uh, creature has that you get to know about off, off, the, off the cuff. Uh, that is its traits. It possesses the Devour trait, the Martial Adept trait, Magic Resistance trait, Hopeless, Deadly, Cunning. And I know what Cunning is. I will now I don't know explain what, what those are. Okay. Uh, I'm first, all down. first, the Devour trait means that this creature has abilities uh, that allow it to consume an enemy. This is both in the literal sense and the game mechanic sense meaning that it can keep you inside of its stomach and that it can actually eat your body once it's destroyed, granting it uh, unknowable effects, power-ups, and possible healing. It has the martial adept uh, trait, which means it can perform martial clashes against um, martial-oriented characters. It has the magic resistance trait, which means that at certain times it will be immune to any magical interference, damage, or effects. Hopeless is the highest form of ruthless, not only will it finish off enemies that are down, it will try to set up a situation that will cause you to die, and it will also seek to ensure a character's death, even at great detriment to itself. And when this occurs, the role that determines your fate cannot be modified in any way. No faith check, no inspiration, only the base role. I mean, what about lucky? That is one of those things that would normally modify it that cannot. Nice. Also, this creature is a violet servant, therefore any death that is associated with this creature will result in violet death. I'm in danger. Deadly means that it has abilities that deal a higher tier of damage, so it's less likely to use combo attacks as some creatures do and simply have front-loaded damage. And cunning means it uses my intellect and I don't make mistakes on purpose. Okay, um... On purpose. He can still fuck up. Maybe. 
I hate it. Mm. <sighs> All right, so we're fighting a shambler. Cool. Let's do it. All right, that's what you get to know off the bat. There are also secret traits that need to be revealed as to the normal course of martial checks, arcana, so on and so forth. In addition, behind you, you will see that there are these things marked. You have refractions that you can call upon, those of you that have them. For Ikar and Huckleberry, since this is your first time playing with me, you get access to the Kenku Lords. Due to the fact that there is another Kenku that has achieved royal status, you may call on Toot's aid at any time, Ikar. Ooh. And also any, any Era Krokras as well. To do what? To aid you. Like what are, to basically, like... yeah, to, to aid you at any time. Okay. Uh, and also, Huckleberry, since you have proven yourself to be a son of Dabarak and a true warrior, mm -hmm. the Steel Soul burns within you, and the Steel Saints offer their aid. Ooh. Franchi. And at round five, Eustace, which is a character from another campaign, will uh, arrive to assist you, as he is a dreamwalker. Bold of you to assume we'll live five rounds. All right. There you go. There's your preliminary information. All right. Not to sound dumb, but when you say aid, do you mean as in, like, the spells affect aid? Or do you as mean... in, they will directly interfere with the fight, granting you boons, bonuses, and help. Okay, to be determined what those are. Yeah, when you call upon them. Got it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, guy. Um... I gotta say, though, this is gonna be fuck. This, this is great. I love the atmosphere. Yeah. I'm ready. I actually was just saying you're slightly louder than us now, but, um... Oh, I'll what kind it. of check do I need to do? I mean, if you lower it by like ten or fifteen percent, it's probably good, Arcadum. Yeah, it, it's barely too loud. Um, and I'm fully aware that I can call on these people to help. Yes. Is it like a limited one-time help from this person, or it is consumed? Well, I might as well open this can of worms on turn one, I suppose, to help inform us of what help we're getting. You got it. Um, is that an action or a? It is an action to call upon aid. I want to make a check to understand when the enemy is immune to magic. Okay, that is an Arcana check. That is sufficient. All right. The enemy is immune to magic whenever it is. When it is on its dream swim initiative. And we'll figure out what that is one day. Ah, shit. Um, Guy will call on Alexander for aid. Very well. You call upon Alexander. Guy shifts from his normal self into that of a cocksure white-haired paladin, a war priest of, an, of a forgotten god. Alex it's sad. Sorry, I can't use it. And you know I can't. Yeah, no, I know you can't, but still, like, <laughs> getting in character. Okay, yeah. Oh, oh man. I'll just I'll rename him. Alexander raises up his blade and calls forth to the power of Luminaris. And as such... All those participating in the fight receive a shielding light. Everyone is granted. Thirty temporary hit points. Nice. Ooh. All right. Hooray. I could appreciate thirty temporary hit points. All right, you have movements and bonus actions. When does the floor end? It doesn't until I tell you it does. Okay. Basically, um, if you see like any of this shit, you can stand on it. 
So like okay. over here, you probably can't, but. Okay, I want to make sure like I don't fall off the edge of the earth right here. No, you're um, good, you're good. I'll bonus action, give Sheriff Huckleberry one of the good old, um, what do you call it? Inspirations? Yeehaw. Bardic Inspiration, got it. Yep, and then I'm over here. Done. <laughs> the creature will let out a battle roar, and then it will roll a second initiative. <laughs> Unfortunately, my DM initiatives don't let me roll multis, so I have to. Okay. Oh. Oof. Nice. Okay. Great. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. No, that's that's that, 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 that's Start good. Enough. Start enough. Good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it gets two turns essentially. Nice. Hmm. Well, now it's still an initiative order, so I don't get it right now. I get it next turn. I just uh, go. We get guy. five turns, so like. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Opening salvo. Oh. Uh. Oh. All right. It will it will uh, swim through the dream, disappearing from reality and thought, before appearing behind Big Pipe, attempting to I'm take a... him down. Does I'm that, in danger. Does that trigger Polar Master because he enters my threat range, or does he, the swimming affect that? He enters on this, so you can attack him if you'd like. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. I mean. Hell yeah. That's a crit. So. Yes. <laughs> Good start. Uh, give me the total. And on, uh, so that's gonna be. 15 plus 6, so 21, and I roll d10, another 5, so 26, and I'll use a, I may as well use a, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, superiority dice? But yes. Yeah, uh, may as well go for it, so this should be 2d8, so 6 to max, 6 oh, oh, oh. My boy! So, and, uh, I will attempt to, I'll say, Boom! And I'll try and do a menacing attack and scare him. I don't know if he's immune to fear, but it's worth trying. It is worth trying. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, I don't know if if he has to save DC 15. He is immune to fear, but okay, then never mind. <laughs> but extra damage, so whatever. All right, and it will take that damage real quick. Let's see. That's. 15, 31, 37, 39, 44. Cool. All right. Take that. <clears throat> Just 53 more of those and we're good. Cool. <laughs> All right. Good stuff. It's going to eat big pipe now. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't like that. And we'll deal 41 uh, damage to big pipe. Excuse me? Ah. Uh, mm. Big pipe cannot move or teleport for one round. Nice. Huckleberry. Uh, I'm going to call on the power of the whatever the fuck. <laughs> okay. The Steel Soul. That's the one. The Steel Saints cry out. An eagle lands on your shoulder, and you are infused with the focus of the warrior. You are granted two additional uses of action surge this combat. Ooh, so I have three total? That is correct, sir. Oh, awesome. yeah. <laughs> uh, I... Okay, well, uh, <laughs> I guess in that case, I will use one of them um, now, because that takes an action, right? To do that? Uh, to, yeah, takes, to, to call on the power? It takes an action to call on it, yeah. Okay, but I can use one now, which would give me one attack Blow action? Ball. Okay. Blow uh, ball. I can only use one a turn, unfortunately, until I hit, like, level 17 or something. Um, but I will use one now, and I'll swing at this bad boy here. Uh, oh, that's gonna miss. Well, I get two swings because I'm level seven, so I at least try again. Uh, wait, did I? Oh, it, I did swing twice and I missed both, I guess. Never mind. What about that butt? <laughs> um, oh, that's right. Yep. Can try. Hey, that'll hit. 
for eighteen, uh, damage. 18 damage. Yes, sir. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know how much this is helping, but <coughs> Scrumpo. Uh, you know, Dick Kickham will one shot it. Man, I don't even know what Dick Hickam would do, dude. <laughs> would like, He'd I don't know, yell at this guy. Smiley! Get off my lawn! No, uh, Scruppo's gonna pray to Raquel for assistance. Okay. Give me your prayer and then we'll make a faith check. All right, let me do it in Scruppo's voice. All right. All right, listen up. Uh, you know, we've never really talked before, but, uh, we're kind of in some deep shit right now in the dream, and I know you lived there, and look, man, I know you I, you sacrificed yourself and all those other gnomes <laughs> so that magic could work on Verum, but basically, uh, all of that's gonna be undone if you don't come here and help us right now! Because you're a gnome, I'll let you make the check at all. D20 plus 5. Let's see if you got... Hmm. That is insufficient for Raquel to arrive. Damn. Uh, I'm going to use... <laughs> phone up a god once per turn. What kind of action was that? An action. Okay. I'm going to use my uh, item interaction to stow my dagger of flowing service, and I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Shadow Blade. You got it. Uh, but I can't attack, so I'm just going to move. Okay. <laughs> right here. Big pipe. Hey, you said oh, I wait, can't what? move. Oh. Never mind. Oh. Sorry. Continue. You said I can't move or teleport right now? That is correct, sir. So I am grounded where I am. Yes, sir. Now, he is a big fucking shark. Yes. Do I still have disadvantage to cast a fireball at him? A fireball? No. Fireball is not an attack, so it doesn't have disadvantage. I ask because, can I... How hard would it be to hit the eye that is damaged? Uh, called shots like that aren't possible. Okay. Well, before I do anything, I'd like to go ahead and do a uh, check to see... He said there was a point where he's going to try and create a scenario that would cause one of us to die at great harm to him. I said that I would attempt to make such a scenario happen, not that one specific scenario existed. Ah, okay. Then I will just simply meaning normally that whenever it. I run these types of creatures, I don't, I don't, I don't try to make a situation occur in which you cannot escape from it. That is not the case okay. anymore. All right, then I'm just going to do a simple martial check and see what the fuck he does. You got it. Uh, or, or can I do an Arcana check instead? You can do those. You can do either. They reveal different I will, things. I will do Arcana, since I'm actually good at that. All right. At least I hope so. No, I'm not. That is insufficient. I figured. <laughs> hmm. Well, this is this is a problem. You know what? <laughs> Might as well just blow it all at the beginning. Kairos, I need your help and your demonic strength and power. All right. You call upon Kairos' strength, big pipe, and you hold the power of the demon in your hand. Choose an ally. That ally that ally gains advantage to all melee attack rolls and rolls with a plus 10 to damage. Oh. Me, 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 me. me. Oh, actually, hold on, no. Do uh, Uncle Barry. Uh, well, I was gonna say me just so that, uh, well, actually, no, he's gonna be threatening him the whole time. Sorry, I, I'm panicking. Uncle Barry has like <laughs> extra okay. actions out of his ass. Yep, that's true. Yep. Let's see, right. who do I, hmm, who do I give that to? Hmm. I feel like I should give that to a car, you know? Amazing. Just for irony's sake, you definitely should. <laughs> give it to the, the I never mug give of questionable shit. justice. <laughs> Just give it to the mug. <laughs> I give the power the of the demon to Huck. Okay, I thought as much. All right, Uncle Barry. 
-hmm. strange feeling comes over your arms elongate into black tendrils. Your mouth cracks oh. open and Whoa. splits in half as teeth come swirling out. Oh, is my mu is my mustache okay? Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank God. That All right. Whatever. All right. And this will last for one round. <laughs> okay. What else you got, big fight? <coughs> As a bonus action, I roll a d20 to cry. All right. That's a d minus two. Negative two crying. Let's, let's try that again. I'd roll a 14 on, on crying. Delicious tears. <laughs> What else you got? <laughs> That's it. Okay. <laughs> Ikar. All right. I'm going to Arcana check it. Yep. And that's great. Um, I'm going to call upon the Kenku Lords. All right. You call upon the Kenku Lords. A radiant visage of Toot will appear, and a golden feather will be thrown towards you. Uh, choose, reach up and grab it. Choose a single ally. That ally, should they suffer death, will be instantly revived at full hit points once. Now we s said that, yeah, okay. Um, the problem is now, you have to choose now. You can't save it. Now, yeah, to, I know. To, to clarify, it's when they <clears throat> die, not go down. Correct. Okay. Oh, okay. Basically, um, who do you like the most? Well, okay, fine. I'll, I'll give it to I'll give it to Guy. <laughs> All right. All right. You could have given it to yourself, moron. No, no, I'm gonna come good. If I die, that's it. Uh, Toots a, Toots a Kenku, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was an Oriole because he's teaching everybody all the time. Because he's a Toot Oriole. Wow. I kind of reaching for that one. I feel. Wow. Ah, come on, that was good. Anyway, wow. come on. Right, birds of a feather and all that. Thanks, uh, mm. Toot. Much obliged. Um, all I've got is movement and bonus, so Mug is coming out. All right, Mug's out. <laughs> mug is out. Just the Mug clanking up against this thing. Yeah. It's 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 ready to try its best. But no no dice. <laughs> it will it will bounce off. The, fuck. It will look back unsure. Boss. I don't know, man. <laughs> You're doing, you're doing great. I don't know. What you're I doing can fine. Do. I'm just a cup, dude. I'm just a cup. You're doing great. Um, am I within its attack radius? Because it's fucking huge. No, it does not have reach. Okay. Oddly enough. So long. Goodbye. <laughs> People run. Done. <laughs> All right. Mm. Cataclysmic Parable's turn. It is specifically its. Oh, I gotta expand my initiative window. It's Doomsay turn. It will begin to cry out. And it will roll its third initiative. What? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I'd really be like that. Because I've never been in a fight like this, do death saving throws get reset if you get back up? Yes. After is it is it after get up or after long rest? After get up. It's yeah, after get up. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. What a fucked up day. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta set myself right. All right, there we go. All right. All initiatives are now set from the Cataclysmic Parable, and during its Doomsay turn, it will cry out. Hey, I did that. <laughs> it Yeah, we're, we're, we're sort of all there with you. It was said. Okay, that's what it says. Uh, I need one of you to choose to make me a wisdom saving throw. I uh, I volunteer. No, a car. A car yeah, I, I probably have the highest wisdom. No, I have Maybe. the highest wisdom. No, you do have the highest wisdom. Plus, I can lucky it. Hmm. True. Yeah. Uh, fair. Do you have you have um, 
uh, I, I have all three lucky. Them, right? Okay. Yeah. Make okay. sure to burn them now. Okay. I'm only doing it because I have the three lucky so that I can burn on this. I mean, hopefully you won't need to burn any, but. Yeah. Wisdom saving Ugh. throw then. Mm. Oh, Jesus Christ. I would, would, you like, that. would you like to use lucky? I'm going to use a lucky. Okay. That's okay. much better. Probably better. I'm going to say that that's good enough. Okay. Big part. Uh, big part. Big pipe is big marked. Part. Big part. Ooh. Guy. Okay. So. Did you see I what have... happened? I have not told you what is happening for a reason that you haven't identified what is happening. Nice. I have the blade of the stranger. I know the crystal in the blade is relevant and has a sound resonance, <clears throat> but can I make a check to see if it is in any way relevant to defeating this thing? History. You may roll with advantage. Yeah. Isn't guy good at anything? I don't have him plus to anything. <laughs> <laughs> that is sufficient. Your history check reveals to you, uh, specifically, Aaron's memory is recalled that Aaron's travels and reading of the scrolls was able to determine that creatures from the Shadowfell have certain weaknesses. And furthermore, your, <clears throat> your interactions with the Shadowfell as a player reveal to you that you have already been told that this is, in fact, a weakness that the creature has because of its Shadowfell origin. All right, can I like performance check the sword to use it or? You can. However, that takes an action for you to charge it with performance. Oh yeah, that's what I want to do. All right, go ahead. Boom. Yeah. Nice. Baba, that's boom. nice. That's my fucking boy. Hell yeah. All right. Give me a performance guy. Come on, oh, come on, come on, sir. I didn't plan this part. Hold on, hold on. Oh, man. Um. Uh, <laughs> hold on. Uh, God in a bad romance. Whoa, whoa. God in a bad romance. <laughs> I don't remember the words. <laughs> That part isn't even words, it's just gibberish. Ooga, googa. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, sorry. That was everything I ever wanted. All right. As you uh, as you uh, perform with a with... That's a that's what a crit performance looks like, by the way. With... Everyone get on your my level. You perform with a with grace and style. Uh, your voice echoes within the stranger's blade. The stone begins to bleed away, and it reveals its form. You hold within your hand a broad, heavy die katana. It has Whoa. holes. It has holes inside of the blade, and each time that you swing it, it seems to leave a sound behind. How fucking lame. All right. Uh, I think it's cool. All righty then. Let's see. Hey, that's cool. Can you use that? Let me make a macro for you real quick. Okay. Can he use it? Yes, because he is a blade. Nice. And it is the one of the three song blades. So. What's its name? Finale. Mm -hmm. All right. God, I love it when a plan comes together. I've been planning this moment since you guys went into Glaeus. What's your uh, What's your Dex or Strength, whichever sire? Or no, Charisma. What's your Charisma? My Charisma is uh twenty. Twenty. All right. Nice. Yeah, I was gonna try and talk to it, but 
<laughs> God, I'm starting to cry, dude. Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, there we go. Hopefully, that sword can do more than 2% of itself. Yeah, we'll hope. There you go, bud. That's all the song blades in like one week. Man, I'm doing the best I can. Um, then I'm going to move 30 feet. Because I guess now I got to go start smacking this thing. And bonus action bardic inspiration to Scrumpo in case he wants to phone up another god. Do I, do I still <laughs> yes, have... Yes, you the... read my mind. <laughs> I love calling in all my favors. Um, do I still have the inspiration dice you gave me before? Because I didn't use it. Yeah, it lasts for a minute. Ten minutes. Okay. Ten minutes. Okay. okay. Last for ten also, minutes. you have my demon strength, so now's the time to pop like all attacks. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna use everything I can if I can. Well. All right. We'll anything see. else, guy? Uh, that's all my actions. You got it, bud. All right. <laughs> Devour initiative. Help. All right. The creature will use. Type up a note real quick here. will use a shattering tail no. and will tail slap big pipe oh that is a crit uh, oh oh my god that is not good <clears throat> well 3d6 plus 25 it's been nice it's, it's been it's been good knowing you guys you know All it right. really has been that will trigger the violet power of overwhelming power and i will use that at this point to use a critical baru all right but big pipe cannot be healed for one round triggering off this critical hit <laughs> uh, so, yes. 14 damage all right 47 damage to big pipe i'm gone my uh all right big... also can't be healed and he's ruthless so He's gonna finish me off. Huff he's not there. ruthless. He's mega ruthless. Oh, sorry. He's hopeless. 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 Uh, no, you're hopeless. Okay. So, I. Oh boy. Have fun. <clears throat> uh, um, wait. I can't. I probably can't talk correctly, right? Because my mouth is all fucked up. You can talk. It's just weird. Oh. Okay. Uh, it's like you came out of the dentist. Yeah. <laughs> Pop, no! No, no! <laughs> I, I guess I'm gonna just hit him again. That's all I got. So what? What does it oh. do? A plus ten to hit as well. Plus ten to damage. Plus oh. ten. Oh, only plus ten to damage. Correct. Damn. Okay. Well, that's the first attack. Uh, uh, you have advantage for one round as well, I think. Yeah. Do I? Yeah, you have advantage. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll roll the other one. Ooh. That one hit. Okay. That is, uh, let's see. 24 damage. Um, yeah. Okay, 24. So that's the first attack. Uh, this is the, this is now the second attack. Okay. Advantage. Okay. So, ooh, wow. 31. That's, okay. Um, and, Big butt. yeah, loud butt. Advantage. Uh, advantage. Mm. Miss. Um, I will use precision attack on the first roll because it's higher okay. um, to see if I can hit. That hits. Nice. So that's nine damage on uh, from loud butt. It's 19 damage. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Sorry, I keep forgetting about. I got you. Don't time. worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um, and then I will act I'll use my second action surge. So now I'm down to one. Yep. Oh, okay, here we go. And then this is uh okay that hit and i will 
Uh, so no. Oh, you don't have bless? No. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I don't have bless, but I can use another superiority die on the first one. Mm -hmm. Turn out for another nice. 12 damage. Or oh, for turn 22. 22 yeah. Okay, so that is in this. I've used three. Okay. Um, I think that is Second all attack. of my actions. Second attack. Second attack. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. I got you. Don't worry. Thank you. No weakness. Okay. Only strength. Oh, okay. Advantage, in case you get a crit. Yeah, in case I get a crit. Okay. okay 29. And that's uh, 29. All right. Got uh, you, brother. Thank you. 125 damage. Damn. And then he lets out He lets out a, a, a battle cry. Oh! How many more times you got to do that? Nah. All right. So just do that. Like, you. I don't know. 12 more times? 30. Oh, yeah, all right. <clears throat> I need to make a saving throw. Huh. All right. <laughs> nice. The creature turns its hateful eyes on Huck and is now ignoring Big Pipe. Oh. Oh, come get me, you big ugly shark. And coming for what you, are you gonna it will. Do? You gonna, you gonna look at me or you gonna fight? I say as my demonic energy slowly fades away. The creature's eyes will flash. Huckleberry, make me a wisdom saving throw. Oh no, this is not what I like doing. Uh. <clears throat> oh, that's a twelve. <laughs> All of Huckleberry's bluster disappears as he falls asleep. <laughs> I go to panic chunk. <laughs> the creature will slowly wrap its body around Huckleberry and hold him above with its mouth wide open. Scrumpo. 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 Yeah. May I implore you to uh, ask for help from one of the people who will help you? Dude, and not a random is... god? This is Raquel's domain. This is literally the. You're gonna try Raquel again, you sick. Uh, yes. You Roderick. <laughs> listen. The paladin. Listen. Listen. I mean, I could call. For, I could call on Broderick. That uh, that was my plan B. My plan A was I was gonna roll again. Also, uh, quick reminder: I still have DM given inspiration from Arcadium that I've never used. From what? What has Scrumpo ever done? I don't know. It was last he gave me. Last I can't. I can't I remember. Know. I, I know remember. that I've never used it. But he gave me one inspiration, which is a D8, right? No, that is a reroll. Reroll. And you have oh. inspiration for me, which is the D8. Okay. Well, <clears throat> um, well, let me ask the it team. from ice uh, skating. Broderick was my paladin from the Viking campaign, and he died. Uh, no, he didn't. No, he died later, like post game. Like Did you guys he? went. You, yeah, you guys raided the continent, and then Broderick evacuated civilians, and then fought you guys and died i don't think he fought us well no that, that didn't really. happen in the game that happened canonically afterwards okay. yeah um well, what was he a paladin of i don't recall i think it was glory it was glory yeah that sounds about right um i, mean, I would hit him with the broderick this turn because things are dire and if things are looking a little better next turn then you take the yeah the chance okay because you know this turn, we need something to help two people. Or we could uh, call in Dick Kickham to make him vomit him up. Just the sheer repulsiveness. <laughs> <laughs> Your call, man. Uh, No, I'm going to call on Broderick, Paladin of Glory. All right. Scrumpo changes from a small, bald gnome into a tall, blonde-haired, lion-maned man <clears throat> who will raise his great sword above his head and will call out to Glory. Give me a battle cry. Oh, glory! His voice will echo, and glory's light will shine down on the battlefield. Big pipe. Yeah? You are healed for a paladin's lay on hands. <gasps> See, Broderick was level eight, so... Yeah, that's a big boy lay 30. on hands. Oh, wait, I'm still prone, though. He would have been higher than eight. Oh, well, he, I think he was eight. Uh, I don't, at the know, end I don't of remember where we ended. I don't remember what we ended up. Does, All right. And that bypasses the, the healing, yep. the mortal wound. Okay, yes, cool. Yes, it does. Dope. And Scrumpo, 
You are given a smite to your next attack, which does an additional 30 radiant damage. Okay. Um, and now I want to... Oh my god. Well, first... Uh, it's actually 40. I'm a fucking idiot. I do all that math really well, and then I fuck up a basic fucking multiplication table. Eight times, um, five, yes! eight times five is 40. Story, you said it's weak to a gem in your sword? Uh, it's weak to the sonic resonance, so it might be just weak to sonic... Because you said... Arcanum said that I already knew this. I don't remember this. Well, the clues are there. It's okay. I don't yeah. expect you to remember it all. It's just... It's knowledge that you have, you just <clears throat> hasn't manifested yet. That's why I help you. Yeah, so I think it's weak to sound. Oh. Okay. I mean, I've been doing thunder damage to it. Has that been doing anything extra? It has. It just, you oh, don't okay. Know, you don't know what it's been doing to it. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Well, well tell you what. Just go talk a, to it give a, me a uh Give me a wisdom check. <laughs> on, on who? Uh, Huckleberry. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Because it is important. Okay. Okay. 15. It isn't so much that sonic damage does extra damage, although it can deal more damage. Excuse me. Thunder damage, quotations. Yeah, yeah right. But you believe that's why you taunted it. Mmm. Okay. Okay. Oh. So it, it doesn't see. It just... It's, vib it's using vibrations. It doesn't... Oh. Maybe it can't see anymore. After I mean, because he mentioned the scar on its eye. Um, so it's blind. It could be. Oh, but what does that matter? Stay really still. <laughs> it might matter because I can actually cast silence, and then oh. it wouldn't be able to hear any of us. Shit. How big is uh, silence? It's like twenty foot cube or something. Double check. And to be clear, that's the last extra check I'm giving you. Um. <clears throat> uh, silence 20 foot radius sphere centered on a point you choose. Okay. I could just center it on him. Okay. But I still don't fully know that that makes sense. So you could make an additional check on that. Because either way, I'm probably just going to hit it with my new sword. Yeah. Uh, I, I feel like I should Arcana check, but I'm not quite sure like what I should Arcana check about. I'm kind of curious about its nature, the nature of its connection to the dream. Like, how is it, like, moving through the dream like that? Like, w why is it able to do that? Like, is it... I feel like it's not... It might not fully be in the dream. I don't know. I feel like cause it came from the astral sea into the dream. Those things are their borders, right? Be right back. Bathroom getting drink. Yeah, yeah. Um, Arcanum said earlier that it is similar to the nightshade that exists naturally in the Shadowfell. So, I mean, it's not like these sharks are native to the dream. They they normally fly around in the sky. How is it? How is it swimming through the dream like that? I don't know. It's a fucking dream. <laughs> it got projected in the dream. I'm just saying it, it normally flies, and now it's flying in the dream because it's in the dream. Okay. I would do some kind of check to see if there's some way we can deal extra or massive damage to it, some kind of weakness, because unless yeah. we plan on going 20 yeah, there's rounds... Gotta a, there's got to be a smarter way to fight here. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, Huck only does one thing, and that's fight as hard as he possibly can. So I'll leave the thinking to you guys. How, how big I've, is this thing? Does anyone know how big it is? Fucking math. Fucking gigantic. Like, I don't know. Something about the eye. Is there a way for us to get out of here? Collapse the mm -hmm. plane? Collapse the dream? Can really? I just wake up, bro? We, we can't collapse the dream. That, that like, that's like a prime evil. <laughs> that's an omega prime evil. We would super... I'm okay also, we that. also we would die. Like, there's no point. But we wouldn't violet die, <clears throat> I guess. <laughs> we, I mean, we have the violet crystal. Can we make it eat it? I don't know. It's probably. Oh, that doesn't sound like it would. Hey, you yeah. know your source of power here. You want some more? Just you know. Would you like some more? My understanding is that the dream is literally like 
the purgatory before people finish um, dying, right? They die, they go to the dream, and then they, they're dead, right? I don't think that's the case, but also, if you're going to check on some weird specific thing that could really help us, you should check on Tear Soul. <clears throat> Tear Soul is the great sword. No. Wait, yeah, yeah, it was. Shit, it was. Yeah. yeah. It's Fuck, the song. Never mind. Fuck! I thought there was like a separate soul. I was like, oh, we found the great sword and this. No, yeah, you're right. Uh, um. Damn, dude. I, I really don't know what to ask Let's about. Use, you know what? Fuck it. Let's use the staff of the inheritor. <laughs> hmm. I have the staff. I could bob a buoy in front yeah. of him. <laughs> I can I, hit him with I, a real mean Baba buoy. I'm gonna marshal check to see if it has any uh, weaknesses. Honestly, I feel like this is gonna end with guy climbing up this fucking space shark and stabbing it in its already wounded eye or some <laughs> shit. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I'm gonna marshal check the nature of its eye wound, I think. We yeah. have to play like for if the it turn could be five where Eustace shows up and it's already dead and he's like, oh. <laughs> we're all gonna be dead yeah or he shows up and it's just a fucking it's just, it. <laughs> it's just the next. sharks just consuming our bodies I, that fucking I'm gif back. from community where Troy okay. walks in with the pizza and everything's on fire I want to make my free martial check to determine if it's existing eye wound from Mad Mork can be exploited to harm it further and I don't actually know what the, what the dice is on a uh, martial check because I don't think I've done one this whole <clears> campaign <throat> Wisdom. Wisdom base. So it's just a D twenty for me. I guess with inspiration, but I'm not going to use that. <laughs> <laughs> Especially not going to use that. Uh, also, I'm going to move. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm going to move. Uh, yeah, that's twenty five. I know it said thirty. I don't know why it said. 30 instead of 25 when that was clearly only like five minutes. Okay, that's my turn. Sorry. Big pipe. Uh, I'm not dead. Holy shit. I stand up. Oh my god. So, in comparison, how big is the shark to me? It is gargantuan. It is three entire size categories larger than you. I'm just trying to like, like like an actual, an actual size. How many how many hooks does it take to make up a big shark? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they measure sh horses in hands. They measure sharks in hooks. In horses. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they measure sharks in horses. Mm -hmm. All right. Well. Uh, I'm going to continue that same martial check. I'm going to see if we can exploit that eye at all. All right. You know, swinging for the fences here, boys. Probably don't want to burn a lucky on that. Nope. Mm, probably not worth it. No, no, it's really not. Well, no. And I'm going to assume calling on Kairos was like a one time thing. All right. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Um, but always fireball. <laughs> You should try to hit its tongue to see if you can free a uh, huck. Get its uvula. Well, no, is it like... You're right in the gag reflex. Its its body is encompassing huck right now. That was, it was the tongue, wasn't it? No, okay, no, 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 no. The creature, the creature wrapped itself around huck and has raised oh. him up and it's going to eat him. Sort of like a oh, no. kind of thing. Basically, it's setting itself up to eat him. Yeah. Well, um, you said targeting any specific point isn't possible. Not, not just as a called shot. Something has to happen specifically. Okay. So Huck would be in the air then right now. Mm -hmm. So if I fireballed at the ground, would it, I wouldn't have to worry about hitting Huck. You could fire at the, you could fire a fireball in such a way that it won't hit your allies. Okay. We're going to do oh. that. Uh, he's also asleep. Who, Huck? Uh, yeah. yeah, and the way the yeah. way sleep the way sleep works in D D is you can 
nudge your teammates awake or like if they take damage they wake up um but i don't know if it's like a special kind of sleep but that's how it works normally so it might be worth hitting uh, him me... with your fireball my man <laughs> mm -hmm. i don't know if taking 8d6 is i mean it's possible i do have temporary hit points but you you go before the devourer phase or whatever the last phase was so you might have a chance to break free if you're awake it's fair i can't save unfortunately but so i'm taking the full brunt but yeah you would take the full attack because you wouldn't be able to do you would auto fail the save well you could just shoot him directly with something that's not as strong like one magic missile or catapult <laughs> yeah you can choose the targets of your magic missiles right yeah so you could do one at Huck and then just hit it with the other ones. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do the fireball then. Well, the fireball That's... could do like 12 damage. It could. I'm going to do that. And it, it, it has 2,800 HP left. Listen, nah. man, it, it could kill it, okay? It could kill it. Maybe it's weak to fireball. Maybe. Maybe you shoot it down, gull it, and it blows up. <laughs> That's what I want to do. I just want to shoot a well, fireball into its mouth. But you, you don't have the, the movement to, like, climb up it right now, right? Oh, but I I, I'm saying that's a good idea. That's not a bad idea. But is is this turn the shoot? Well, I mean, I guess its mouth is, is open. I was going to say, is its mouth open right now, Arcadum? Yeah. Its mouth is open. Um, he's he's really? looking to chomp. The next question is, how much movement would it take for you to get close enough to shoot it into its mouth like that? Arcadum? Say again? What? Sorry. No. How much movement would it take for me to get into a position to shoot the fireball into his mouth? You would need to move <clears throat> at least 40 feet. Wait. Straight up. Oh. Hmm. Can't do 40. Can do maybe 30. What Can't kind of action? You know fly, right? Oh, wait. I do know fly. Do you... What kind of action is casting fly? Is it just a normal action? Normal just action. touch. Uh... I mean, I vote for hitting Big Pipe with the magic missile to see if he'll wake up. You mean Huck? Or Huck, sorry, did I say Big Pipe? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you did. Okay, yeah, so Huck. then here's the plan. The plan is hit him with the magic missile this turn. Next turn, assuming I'm alive, cast fly on myself, and then the third turn, shoot a fireball down his throat since I'll be able to fly wherever I need to go. That's where yeah. I'm at. Hell yeah. That's a good idea. All right. Then we'll do... Uh, where's Little Iron at? The thing okay. about Magic Missile is it's a guaranteed hit, too. Right. The two damage one, I will have go to Huck. And Can't the... do that. Gotta, gotta say what they are before you roll the damage. Oh, okay. Never mind, then. Yeah, he's taking the I'll five. I'll take the five. That's Okay. Fine. He can... Okay. He's taking the five, then. I didn't know you could... I didn't know you had to pick that. Yeah. All right, well, he's taking five. I'm right, sorry, you, Huck. You wake up. He did the damage, ah! right? Yeah, he, he needs to be healed by five. Oh, excuse me. Oh, oops. Yeah. I think Let's, you both uh, did it. Wait, yeah. You're, we're, we're we, no, we, we'll, we'll put the damage Your temp on HP is very big. Uh, hold on. Oh, I think we both did 30. All right. Tell you what. Yeah. I'm just going to set it right. Yeah, yeah. And then you, then you, you can handle it from there. Yeah, you take care of it. There you go. Now everything's right. Yes, that is correct. Okay. And then I take four. Wow, <laughs> four whole damage. Hey, it's better than zero. Good job, my lord. All right, anything else? The, Movement uh, otherwise? Uh, You said that this he, he doesn't have reach, so I can move further away. Yep. All right, then I'm going to move to, like, here and get the fuck away. Not that it matters, because he could probably reach me no matter where I go. But I feel safer, kind <laughs> of, on the inside. Hey, Car. Uh, I'm going to repeat that Marshall check that we keep failing. Okay. Hell yeah. The wisest bird. I'm definitely going to press the wrong button to do it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. Wise okay. bird. All right. <laughs> here we go. Okay, you have identified its three initiatives, Devour, Doomsay, and Dream Swim. You have also identified its various abilities, 
within those uh, within those specific categories. I thought we were IDing the I, not the initiative. This is this is something that you get when you roll it at all. Oh hell yeah! So bonus. Uh, Devour has the following: gnashing teeth, raging force, shattering tail, and umbral silver. Doomsay has. It was said. They heard. But they did not listen. Now they suffer. Dream Swim has. Malefic Sleep. Murderous Dream. Phantasmal Terrain. Storm of Hate. Alrighty. Nice. You may choose great. one of those abilities listed and identify it. I can we already to... tell you, Shattering Tail makes you get stunned. It's real bad. <laughs> we need to figure out the Doomsday stuff. I feel like that's like... Yeah, I mean, it already you guys said are... it was said. Yeah. Yeah, so he did it. It was said one of us had to make a wisdom saving throw. We got to choose who made it. But and we don't know what marked, happens. But if... we, don't know. we don't know what it was. So how about yep. we'll... Let's figure out what they heard is. Should we figure out what it was said was? Because the, I've, I am now marked from that. They heard might help us figure out what it was said was, and we'll probably do that next because it's... Yeah, like it, it was said may just be the marking, and then... Oh, yeah. you know, that's a good point. That is what you would that's like to That's my final answer. Very well. They heard does this. The creature marked by it was said is suspended in stasis. It cannot take <laughs> damage, nor can it take any actions, nor can it be healed. All other allies must then make a constitution saving throw. Should they fail, they are marked. Oh, great. I'm excited about that. That makes me it makes me feel good inside. Um, well, I'm cool. ready to be suspended into stasis. Yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Let's go. Yeah. Cool. Uh, great. Um, I guess I'll, I'll bless my typical three fighters okay blessing good wow not blessing me i get it yeah sorry bless the mug one the day feather. you know bless the mug one day i should bless the mug i don't think i can bless the mug you bless yourself which blesses the mug. Oh, okay damn i don't know if you can reach all three of us is the problem isn't it within view 30 feet is it yeah. I mean, you can probably it. move over to the right to yeah, see. Yeah, why. I mean, I can. I'm just. Yeah. Just, you just want to make sure you position yourself right to do it. All right. Let me, let me make some measurements. All right. I think if I put myself, is it here? Hang on. Yep. That's where I go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bless these dudes. You got it. And then, mug. <laughs> yeah. Woo! All right. All right. It bonked him. All right. Hold on. There's more for me to reveal on your uh, check because that was just the free stuff that you get from making it. And you specifically oh, okay. wanted to know about the eye. I'm about to put chat in fucking emo mode. <laughs> Do it. Cage them. All right. Cage them now. Okay. I did a little damage there. So your exact question is, can the eye be exploited? Yes. Yes. By enacting a martial clash. It's time, guy time to kill your first monster this whole campaign. Well, how do you do that? Climb up that bitch and stab it in the eye. If you wish to enact a martial class, it is an action in which you attempt uh, which you must be within melee, within appropriate range in order to deal damage as normal except when instead of attacking you initiate a martial class which has a different set of cinematic effects which must be rolled out against. Please keep in mind that enacting a martial class a clash, since it ignores normal rules, means that its benefits can be very high, but so can its detriments. And any clash performed against a violet servant has a chance of violet death. 
<laughs> hey, Star, you want to die instantly? Mm. Do it. I, I could go for some death. <laughs> I already made another. You got the character. feathers, though. So. <laughs> All right. Anything oh, else? Turn over a car. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I hit him with the mug. Okay. Here we go. Huck is now awake, so I can. I can can't do that until that turn anyway. So, I will use they heard. Who did you bless? Uh, my usual three. Okay. Uh, bless is uh, ability checks or skill checks. Uh, bless is saving throws and it's saving throws. So we can't use bless on this. So I'm you suspended. Can. You can. That's a saving throw. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Nice. I pass. I fail. Oh, I pass. Oh. <laughs> the car and guy fail. Mm hmm So I'm just I'm just chilling now. <clears throat> that is correct, sir. Well, I can't die, so maybe I'll see round five. Me and Eustace can chill. Look at the end of the Guy. world. Star, I have an idea. I have three ideas. They're all good. I don't know which one to do. <laughs> okay. My idea is you ready your action to stab it in the eye and until I call for one of my refractions, and I can specifically try to help you in stabbing it in the eye. And like, we can have it happen at the same time. Uh, the one dilemma with that, a Huckleberry is gonna be eaten before your turn. So if I clash with it now, I save Huckleberry's life. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it has three initiatives. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, idea number two, uh, well, idea number one being I clash with it, and we see how that all pans out. Idea number two, uh, I cast Silence on it, which I assume at the very least will not be, letting it doomsay anymore. And I forgot the third one. So honestly, is, I'm is this it, is the second phase the devourer phase? The second initiative is devour, yes. Yeah, so I think I, I should clash with him to save Huck. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Can honestly, I just use my fancy new sword for something and hope it helps. Can Why? I? Can We're going to use you... the item we got in a can fight I, immediately. Can I give him my I inspiration? You want to give him your DM inspiration? Uh, yeah. All right. Very well, Stir. Is this your choice? Yes, this is my choice. As you wish. You must clash with the creature like Mork did. And live. Okay. Uh, I believe. <laughs> There we go. You focus all of your energy. It courses up along your blade. Finale answers your call. It's reverb, increasing the strength and potency of your voice contained within. The green energy circles around it. The creature sees what you're doing and rises to the challenge. Like a snake, it coils outward, trying to crush you with its tail. Make me an attack roll. You have advantage. Ooh. 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 Shattering like tail. Uh, fucking God. Wow. <laughs> the blade whips wow. out and clashes against the shattering tail. The force of the creature's strength is so much. <clears throat> your arms begin to buckle and then your skin begins to crack. The power of the violet surges to the creature. Not good enough. The tail smashes through your defenses. Guy, take 40 points of damage and roll for me a constitution saving throw. With bless. Hold on. Just, just remembering if I have any tricks to not die. Yeah. 
Oh, it was con, con, con save, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, con save. Plus. He rolled a twenty, so there's literally nothing we could do to fucking. Oh! Whoa! Oh. Rolling that twenty. <laughs> Back at you. All right. Guy takes the blow, smashing across his face, but it's not deterred. The blade My continues. My mother did worse. The blade continues, <laughs> slicing up the creature's tail. It will panic and release Huckleberry. Whoa! Whoa! whoa. It will then turn and bring down its maw on top of, on top of Guy. Roll another attack roll. Advantage or no? You have advantage. Oh god, I would re-roll that. Um, I are those blessed as well? Uh, those aren't blessed. Um, because remember he gets a plus fifteen regardless. So, yeah, hold on, I'm thinking. How how good this needs to be. Well, there's nothing better to ever use an inspiration on. Hmm. Not reroll. All right. What's last total of 22? Here come the teeth. <laughs> oh, fuck. Wow. You push past the pain of the shattering tail. You strike out with the blade, going for the creature's eye. Its teeth bring down on top you, guy. You take 41 points of damage. The clash oh. fails as you are thrown to the ground. You roll, and you are fallen prone. <laughs> <clears throat> The creature turns its ire towards Guy. Where is your hope now, refracted soul? All right, and I will attempt to finish off Guy. I will use Raging Force. I had to roll a fucking crit on that first one. <laughs> That's wild. Yeah. All right. But hey, at least you have a phoenix down for when he inevitably kills you. Oh my True. god, you're right. Yep. All right, the cataclysmic parable will move straight into Guy, smashing with his head. I have advantage though, you're prone. <laughs> Thanks. Dealing 22 damage, knocking Guy unconscious. I got it. I like how AC is more of a suggestion against this guy. The creature will mm -hmm. continue and go into Strumpo. Oh, uh, that misses. Is your AC 17 or higher? 17. Oh, 17 hits you, so. Oh, right. Meat, yeah. meat beats. Okay, yep. sorry. You got a back damage. <laughs> And then he will go into a car. Dealing 21 damage. Holy cannoli. He will go into Huckleberry. Uh, oh yeah. Where is Oof. Huckleberry? For 22 damage. Aya. Mm. And this does not provoke. Yeah, I figured. All right, that'll be it for Devour. Huckleberry. I need to, I, I, uh, I need to roll a concentration check. Go ahead. Uh, what? How do I oh, do that? Oh, so do I. Shit. That's a constitution save. Okay. D20 plus 2d4. Uh, I don't know what determines whether or not I keep my constitution up or my, my spell. Bless is gone. Bless is gone yeah, to the damage, I believe. He hit me first. Hit you for, uh, how much damage did I hit you for, Strumpo? 22. 22. 22, so it's 11, so yeah, you, you're, you, you pass. But a car fails, nice. bless spades. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, boy. Uh, all right. Can I attempt a martial clash with it? You can. 
Uh, well, first, actually, um, can I tell you, do a martial check to learn more about it? Yeah. Okay. How's that? All righty. <laughs> big, huh? big list of abilities. Uh, you can choose to identify one of them. Uh, I'm just yeah. saying what they did not listen is more than likely going to be the next thing out of his mouth. We should probably know what that about to do. Yeah, let's find out what that does. Okay. But they did not listen. It states this. All creatures that were affected by they heard and marked have their hit points lowered, their current hit points lowered, to match the lowest hit point person that is marked by that. <laughs> Who's Which currently is negative down. 10. Does that include zero? That includes zero. That means you would be instantly knocked out. Okay. Okay, and so... The so, sorry. If, is there a save? There is no to... save. Okay, so it's just automatically everybody goes to zero if the doom saves. Well, it, it's... Uh, it, it's... it's Okay, your health matches the lowest health out of everybody that's affected from they heard. So right. if Guy were to be healed, then you would not be to reduce to zero. Got it. Bruh, call on the Steel Souls. He already did. Oh, well, yeah, who... I already did. Shit. Call on Dick, kick him. <laughs> call on them all. You need to... Sorry, I don't mean to say this. You need to. No, 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 uh, please. Um, take the blade from Guy and try to clash it, I think. I could do. I could probably do that with a with an action surge, because taking the blade would be an action, wouldn't it? Negative. Taking the blade would be a item interaction. Okay. So you drop your halberd, then you take the blade from him, and then you try it. I don't know. I don't know what else okay. to do. The, the the alternative is somehow healing guy, I guess. <laughs> Honestly, I would just say try and clash with him, Huck. That that's really all you got is try and clash with him. Yeah. Take the blade, clash. Regardless, of, I'm over up here, just kind of T-posing above the whole field. What's up, okay. guys? Um, well, that would be, uh, that, that would probably be really, hmm. But I think <laughs> in character, first of all, I don't think Huck would ever give up Loud Iron. And also, I don't think he knows how strong the sword is. So, yeah, as smart as that would be, um, uh, commit to the RP. Yeah, I gotta commit to. We're the probably RP. dead anyway. I'm just, I'm gonna go for the eye with loud iron. All right. I mean, it's still, it's still a good choice because it does the sonic damage. Yeah, it does thunder damage at least. So. All right, bud. Make an attack roll as you step okay. up to the plate. Uh, this is just an attack roll. Yep. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna use a martial die to add D8. Can I do that? Yeah. You don't need to, I mean, oh, unless oh. you're trying to do more damage. You hit him because the, because no, it's no, a he's clash, adding remember? precision. That's what he's doing. Yeah, I'm adding precision because if this is a clash, then it's contested, and I definitely want to be higher than him. Oh, I didn't know that's how it worked. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I'm assuming that's how it works. It's how it worked with all the other clashes. So yes, it takes the higher roll. Whoever's yeah. higher, either Huck or the Shark. Yeah, so I'll, I'll use the superiority dice to add four. So I rolled 25. All right, bud. He's got to roll 10 or lower. Come on. Come on. There is no bless. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah no bless is gone. Yeah, yeah bless is oh, smacked. Sorry. He will smack bite down with his gnashing teeth and will challenge Huckleberry. Oh, fucking guy. Man. And will smash through his martial stance, dealing 41 damage. <sighs> the clash will fail. Uh, is that my action for the turn? That's your action surge and do it again. I mean, can I? Yeah. Yeah, sure. fuck it. What's, what do I got to lose? I'm dead if I don't, so. Uh, try it again. Here we go. Oh my God. Okay. Well, I used my last martial die to try and make that higher. 20. 20. He mm. has to roll or lower. lower. No big deal. Gnashing teeth, crushing hope. There it is. 
40 damage to Huck. That's it. We're dead, boys. Good game. <laughs> That's all my resources. I have nothing left. All right, Dream Swim. I will summon forth the murderous Dream. I will target Guy, who is down, to make me a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> All right. A dream form of Guy will start to appear next to him, slowly being copied. All right, next is Scrumpo. Uh... Pray to, pray to Raquel or Azalon. I still have uh, the Bardic Inspiration. Okay, well, here's the thing. Of our refractions, they've just been giving us buffs. So unless Azalon's going to be a fucking reset button to go back to round one, we need something big. Uh, uh, I'm just going to give us some, some baby buff. Follow-up question, Arcadum. Yeah. You said that Aslan knows what happened in the dream. Yeah. Uh, Aslan can plane shift. Yeah. What's to stop him from plane shifting here right now? Uh, the fact that that would be a foolish thing to do because it would allow the creature to escape from the dream. Does it open a portal? Yes. Let me read it. No, I'm telling I you didn't... it would, and he would know that. Okay. <clears throat> Escape from the dream into wherever Azalon came from, right? Correct, which is, well, the, it would... which is the waking realm. Okay. Right. What, I mean, what could possibly go wrong of letting this thing out? Well, uh, please understand that it's literally spitting distance from it anyway. Uh, however, I see your point. Yeah. I think I'm gonna call on Azalon's refraction. All right. Scrumpo will fade away, and there in his place will stand the wizard, Azalon. Azalon will raise up his hands, and in a pulse of power, will dispel the battlefield of all enemy effects. All marks are removed. Okay. Wow. We're still dead. <laughs> and then... Okay. Azalon will use the Druidic Gifts of Glaeus to restore everyone's hit points on the battlefield. Ooh. Everyone is healed for 70 hit points. Ooh. That's a pretty baby buff. And I'm still, I stand by what I say. And that, that has not changed the fight much. And that will conclude Azalon's interaction. Just saying, the plane shift idea is still there. <laughs> you guys. I don't know. At the very least, it might be a way out. Don't um, do Winky face. I I want to... I want to see... Um... What powers this thing? I mean, like, is its mouth open? Is it, like... Uh, currently, it is focusing its ire on Huck. Does it have an end? Like, is the whole of its snake-like body, like, here, right now? Yeah, it has an end. It has a fin. Um, Slapped a few of us with it. Man, I don't know. Just make a generic Marshall check <clears throat> oh, identifying this stuff. I want to do an Arcana check. Because I'll do actually it. succeed it. <laughs> Do it. Go ahead, bud. Okay. Uh, hit him with your big brain. Yeah. 
I'm doing my math. That's oh, uh plus six. Okay. And I am going to move one, two, three, four, five here. And that's my turn. Big pipe. Yep. <laughs> Your turn. Hmm. Well, I didn't think much about my turn because I didn't expect to get out of the crystal. Uh. Well, first off, let's just start off with a good old fashioned martial check or arcana check. We'll start with one of them things. That reveals that the creature is vulnerable to radiant damage. Nice. I can't do that. Uh. <sighs> so what are the chances that it's able to pull off a con save? With its plus 15 to everything. Ooh. Probably The only I... thing I've got is maybe hit it with blindness and deafness and try and make it deaf since it's already blind. Are we sure it has plus 15 to everything? Well, we know it has plus 15 to its attack. That's all we really know so far. I'm probably going to silence it on my turn anyway. Okay. Yep. I feel like that needs to happen now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, no, it does. Um... Hmm. I really don't know much of what I have that we can do to this thing. <sighs> that will actually silence Mike really bad. On second thought. Why is that? It makes it immune to thunder damage and sound and stuff, and then I probably might not be able to use my sword against it. And Hawk mm. won't get to thunder it. Well, then, I mean, I could hit it with, I could hit it with deafness. That's like, because I, I, I'm just thinking of like what we can do to like give us Def an Def advantage. Def Deafness is a good idea. I think that's a great idea. But if it has a plus 15 to con save, then it auto wins against Only my... One Same here. Only one way to find out. All right, let's do we, it. You have no idea what his con save is. We only know what its attack bonus is. Well, time to find out. All right, yeah. I'm going to hit it with blindness and deafness, and I'm going to obviously choose deafness since it's our, we think it's already blind. Uh, it needs to make a con saving throw or be deaf. All right, I have disadvantage to this. Huh. He has a plus 15 to con. He auto, he auto 14, takes it. Yeah. Plus 14. So let's see, well, hold on. What is my spell DC? Yeah, he auto, he auto completes it. You can literally <laughs> roll a one and get it. One is always uh, a spell. But... Oh, he has to roll a one to get it. <laughs> <laughs> And also, your DC isn't 14. That hasn't been updated. Your DC oh, is C5 plus 3, uh, 17. With oh, all six. items. Yeah, it's not that low, but it's still a. It's, it's his heavy. It's one of his heavy saves. So. Not optimal. <clears throat> how far off? How far away can I go? Anywhere where you can see that there's this color. Okay. I'm going to stand right here at the, what I perceive to be the edge. Yep. I'm going to look out into the void. What do I see? Uh, you see the remainder of the dream realm flashing all around you. You can see the dragon's dream. Far in the distance, you think you can make out a Parthenon. And further out, you can see a clockwork city. I'm going to fix my sight in this direction and just look. Okay. The car. 
Uh, do you guys really like Bless? I mean, I could I could pop it up again. Uh, or they need Bless I, for the clashes. Yeah, yeah. They, the bless Either that. I'm saying like how how good do you think his charisma is? He doesn't seem very charismatic. I listen, man. This guy is probably more than likely going to beat any kind of save that is required <sighs> unless he, we're extremely well, uh, lucky. He, he, what well, what we, spell we, we, are you trying to do? Banish it, dude. Oh, oh, if no, you wait, 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 Why? Why not? We determined he was immune to magic when he's ever, he's on his dream swim initiative. With the last one. So I don't know if that means he's immune to it right now. Oh, uh, I can clarify that. That's during his initiative. Okay. So he is not immune to magic right now. Does that mean anything you hit him with would wear off on that initiative anyway? That, correct. Okay. So if he's deaf, he would, it would wear off. Okay. Well, it, it wouldn't go away completely. It would just be suppressed during that turn. Okay. Got it. So the cool thing about banishment <clears throat> is there's only one character. There's only one enemy, so it's it's done. No, they, he he can save against it if he's not willing. Yeah. I, so he's I gonna believe. he's gonna perform a charisma saving throw. If he fails it, the fight's over because there's nothing else to hit me to break concentration. As long as I concentrate for one minute, the target does not come back. The 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 wording on the spell is you attempt to send one creature that you can see within range to another plane of existence. Right. Um, it's not native to the dream. Um, what it's, what's the clarification there, Arkham? Does he choose which plane he's oh, going to get to? Yeah. No, I see what you're saying. So I'm just it's going to come back after one minute. It would just give us time to buff. So <clears throat> because let's see, is it kind of a... <clears throat> if well, the target the, the... is native to a different plane of existence, the target is banished with a faint popping noise, returning to its home plane. Okay, so oh, no, wait. So it's not native, right? Yeah, it's not so native. after one minute, it will not return. See, the question is, Joe, what is its home plane? Probably and do we, beyond and do the we life care frame? enough about it. Yeah, I bet I bet the the Omega twist or, is the, it's the fucking prime material plane like that's its native plane or it could be Shadowfell because it's a nightshade that's true maybe it was co-opted by a, either way we don't want this to leave the dream if there's even a chance that we infect somewhere else it's not good Make me an um, check. that's what I was about to ask yeah. come on wow okay. Provide no guidance. Do as you will. I say, yeah. uh, only other thing I can offer you is to re-bless. I can't even move because I'm in. in re the... I, I would recommend re-bless and then next turn make the same check and see if you can get to the bottom of it. Okay. <clears throat> All right, Icar cast uh, bless. Okay. We can we can also try to see. I mean, what was the Arcana check for in particular? I'm assuming it was to see what plane it was from. Yeah. Damn, I didn't know I could ask that. <laughs> um, I mean, we can make um, that check too, um, in our turns as well. So, all yeah. right, I'll bless. I'll bless my usual suspects. Bless returns and, to the battlefield. And um, mug it up. I'm mugging. I'm I'm missing the giant shark. All right, that's it for He's his car. He's not missing. He just can't reach it. Its ire focuses on the mug. <laughs> you damnable mug. You didn't <laughs> listen. Okay. But they did not listen. The car take one point of damage. <laughs> Ow! Okay. Guy. Bro, you gotta do it, man. Got it. Got it. Oh, did you damage me? Oh, you damaged me. No, no, I gotta do my yeah, I mean, what was. I'll let you the guys hear yourselves. Was... I'm just used to doing it. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. The, the other plan was silence. The other plan is silence and wait a turn to see if he can banish it. Um, could you hold your action? Oh, actually, uh, sorry, I made an error there. Oh shit! What? Hold on, that's my fault. Aslan interrupted the marks. So nobody's so marks, nobody's. So yeah. That. I'm taking that one damage back. That means... Oh, 
the creature's chant is interrupted. As it is interrupted, the creature begins to scream out in an ephemeral roar of pain. The creature is weakened and is vulnerable to all damage during this time. All right, so silence is the key then. Also baby buff, by the way. <laughs> <clears throat> um, I take it back. I should take this time to clash it while it's vulnerable. Um, so what does the vulnerability mean? It's taking more damage. It's taking and... more damage and it is weakened. That's all I can say, because you haven't identified it. And what qualifies as a win in a clash? You rolled the to hit higher or the damage? To hit. Um, did I have advantage last time because I have the song blade? Correct. And you're a bard. Okay. Then guy will stand and, um, I have bless. I have advantage. Uh, I cannot give myself inspiration because, like, there's no way to cheer me up. Unfortunate. <laughs> Well, if it's weakened, then maybe that means that it has, um, man, go for it, dude. Just do the clash. Yeah, I'm clashing. I was just double checking if I had any way to raise my attack roll. Oh. <laughs> uh, wait, aren't you a, uh, God. sword bard? Sword bard, yeah. Don't they have, um, the, the uh, I swear to God, they have got sword one. abilities, but they don't have any for attack rolls. They oh, okay. have, uh, you can use inspiration die to defensive flourish and stuff like that. Which is determined after you hit and it just I could let defensive I could let defensive flourish count. Alright, well then I'm gonna do that. Yeah. This is your destiny. It's technically it's um, a clash roll, so. So 1d8 defensive flourish, I'll have it on both rolls. Plus six. Ooh. There you go, bud. Ooh! Alright, alright. Okay, so that's uh 34. 34? Yeah. Alright, I roll with disadvantage because I'm in my weakened state. Right, that's it. Oh wait, no, this, I'm is, this is this is degrees of failure. So okay, all right. Twenty-eight versus thirty-four. That is a success on the player. Hold on. Woohoo! We're also blessed too. Oh, true. I mean, if it matters, it does. I don't it's think degrees it... of success. Uh, oh, okay. thirty-six. I'm still getting used to these anime clash rules, dude. Nani, you will not defile my brethren. They mean so much to me. Oh, it's the nicest thing you've All ever right, said about guy, me. As you surge forward, the creature's teeth bite down, but this time you're ready. You pillaret out of the way and strike forward with all of your might. As you do so, a memory strikes with you. You see yourself fighting alongside a strange-looking orc with a cocksure smile and a fancy hat. He'll wink at you as both of you strike the creature's eye at the same time. The eye will explode. Violet fire will pour out from its opening wound. All right. Guy, choose a single ability that I possess. You may seal it. Choose wisely. Oh my god, if you take if you choose one of the the doomsday shit, it can't even start chanting. Right? Yeah, because it was said yeah. if it uh if you, yeah, if you, it was said we'll remove the first mark, which is yeah. the cascading effect for everything else. Because yeah, everything that's marked always And takes nobody that. is marked right now? Correct. Correct. Then I will remove it was said. Okay. So now it's the shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Hey, on your turn, you shut the fuck up. <laughs> All right. As you have chosen to seal, it was said that creature will lose that initiative entirely. Mm, nice. Okay. And as it loses an initiative, <clears throat> Whoa. Hey, there's only three initiatives. Oh, -ha. well done, guy. We have figured it out. Uh, 
Is uh, is that like a full round action or do I have my That's others? everything. Yep. Okay. And I'm done. I'm gonna go pee pee. It better be dead when I'm back. You think you've won? I will show you the power of my lord. All right, and it will roll a hidden initiative. Oh, <laughs> you little bitch. <laughs> hey, you took away oh, my initiative. Come on now. Wait, but really? Why don't, why don't I have a hidden initiative? You didn't think it'd be that easy, did you? This was easy? No. I'm just getting started. All right, and it will gain the Violet Initiative. Oh, goody. All right. You know, maybe we should just go back to it was said, you know? <laughs> All right, and then... He can keep, you know what? I'll allow it. He can keep saying it. Say it, man. All right, I'm going to switch back to that, and I'm going to use Gnashing Teeth on guy oh uh do i get to gain the benefit of the flourish yeah as which if means i, I miss. <clears throat> yeah oh my yeah. god it missed you parry my mouth Ting. <laughs> <laughs> oh i'm the greatest fighter on this side of dreams in general like most of yeah. <laughs> huckleberry mm -hmm. uh well Seeing how that really pissed it off, uh, <laughs> I guess I have to attempt, <laughs> excuse me, I have to attempt a martial clash. Um, uh, okay. Here's other eye. Are you? All right, Huckleberry, mm -hmm. as you rise up to attempt the clash, the creature will turn and its missing eye will burn with violet fire. The herald will shine and reflect in its missing ocular. Failure. Uh oh. And this martial clash will result in violent death. Do you wish to continue? Uh, bro. <laughs> so we, what's we, what's violent death? Uh, uh, that means uh, you're dead. Like forever, forever death up. of all of your characters. It's all one of them. Not like Ikara can come in with reviv revivify. Correct. He no. cannot be resurrected. There. Okay. So like when you die of violent death, not only does do all of your characters, you know, just die. They cease to exist. There's no memory of them. It's literally they get snapped out of existence. Great. We can't yeah, just like Naruto. We can't yeah. let Octo Pimp get Violet Death or Joe because they literally have not had the chance to refract. Um. So that doesn't sound very fun. So I probably won't do that then. I mean, so what else? I mean, here's the thing. I am a fighter. What else am I going to do? I'll, mar I'll marshal check him, or I'm uh, going to hit him you, for like 20 damage. Can you check to specifically figure out what led to his weakened state, and that if like dispel magic or anything that we can replicate can do it so that I can clash him again? I could... Would that be a marshal check or an arcana marshal, check? Marshal check or arcana can do that. Okay, I'll try marshal. 13? Probably not. Yeah, not enough. Okay, if, we're, if, you're, if you're trying to think of ideas... I, actually, you're a horse. You can't really climb on it. No. Nope. Oh my God. Uh, I mean, so, so the problem here is I've already used all of my abilities, and clearly the quickest way to kill this thing is to clash with it. And so otherwise, I'm literally, even though I did do like 200 damage, like that was using all of my resources. So... Is it still weakened or did it recover now? Uh, it is no longer weakened. Okay, so it is, it's back to full. <clears throat> so, I don't think we can really, like, risk the clash like that, just going for it, because it's just going to... The Herald's now watching over the fight. He's just going to say, no, 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 not again. I think you should mm -hmm. still hit it to try and get its attention with your thunder. I could do that. I mean, I can hit it. I don't know what. Yeah, it's probably not going to do very much. Because otherwise, but... I'll be down and I have the best chance with the song blade. Sure. Okay. Uh, Joe, do you have Shield of Faith? I do. Is that I concentration? A... I have it a is, scroll. Yeah. So, uh, do scrolls concentrate? They do. They do. Yeah. They'd have to go uh, up all right. for that. 
If we if we find out that that well, is for sure the way to taunt this thing, then we shield a faith huck and then pray. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone okay. else can shield the faith and so that you don't have to lose. Some oh, I can do it. Yeah, you can take one of my scrolls. Or or big pipe actually. I I could do it too. Okay. All right. I guess I'm I'm hitting this bad boy. Time to fight. Uh, that is not gonna hit. Oh my god. Oh, one. so close. Yep. But I do get two attacks, so. That's also not gonna and hit. And big button. Mm. Uh, that does hit. That'll do it. Or 12 damage. damage. I just, the, uh, the the imagery of you hitting a giant shark with your ass. <laughs> just giving it like a the Armika butt hit. Just yeah. Boom. Yeah. Got him. All cool. right. Got him. All right. Uh, how much HP do I have? Uh, yeah. I'll, I mean, that's most of, that's all I can really do. All right. The Cataclysmic Parable will now activate its ability, Hate Storm. This is a new one. I'm excited. It's part of Dream Swim. Actually, you said it with Storm of Hate. Yeah, that's. I'll. Hey, look at that! I'm slay. <laughs> hey. Hell yeah! Oh wow. <laughs> Okay, everyone caught within that radius must make me a strength saving throw, DC of 19, or else be pulled closer to me by 30 feet. Well. <laughs> uh. No. Uh -huh. Oh, damn. Uh -huh. Damn. I will come no closer. Wait, this moment. I mean, I'm already close to you, so. Yeah, I'm already, you got me. already there. Is it right here fine? Yeah. Or would you. That's fine. That's okay. fine. Okay. Now, the second part of the effect. For each creature that is adjacent to me, they right. must make a... Uh, oh, I get to make a... Oh, no, 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 I'm at the wrong part. Each creature that is now adjacent to me must make a constitution saving throw, DC of 18. Yeah, there we go. Be one. <clears throat> oh, man, come on. Add uh, your blast guy. Hmm. Oh, nice. Anybody fail? Oof. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay. Anybody who failed is uh, who failed? Huckleberry and who else? Yeah. Guy. 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 You are marked with this. Puppies. Marked with puppies? Hell yeah. Yeah. What about a cactus? Okay. Nice cactus mark. That mark indicates that you are vulnerable to the storm of hate. Whenever I would attack and deal damage to another creature, you take the same damage. Cool. <laughs> uh, on the only while using storm of hate or any damage. Uh, any damage that I use. So that means okay. like my normal attacks and stuff. Uh. Uh, this is oh you have to identify that. Okay, that'll be it for Dream Swim. Scrumpo. Uh, I think I'm gonna try and pray to Raquel again. Oh, hold on, question. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm curious why you're dead set on Raquel when we're in the dream and maybe Own would be a, a more opportune choice. Raquel's an integral part of the dream as well. Fuck but Raquel. also my character's a gnome and it's like his patron saint, essentially. <laughs> All right, well, you better roll good. But also the very last line of the Raquel world portal verum bullshit wikipedia is that she's been looking bullshit? for the violet <laughs> <Arcadum. laughs> so this is literally her wheelhouse which is why i chose raquel do it I, dude i'm all for that one i'm with um, you on it yeah so first scrumpo's gonna motherfucking disengage <laughs> um okay peace okay bye bye uh, and that will be using my bonus action as well for movement. Um, and I'm well, going to use my well, action. To, what? Well, hold up. Your bonus action is the disengage. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, hold on. I'm 50 away. Right here. Okay. Um, yeah. It's time for another prayer to Raquel. All right. Lay it on me. 
Um, on a friend. Do it. Listen, lady, you spent all of your other life looking out for the violet. Here it is. Here's your chance. Why are you not here yet? You are going to let all of my friends die while you cower in some corner of the violet. That doesn't sound like Raquel. Uh, and it was D20 plus five. Yep. Oh, God. And I'm going to use... Well, actually, I, I, can I choose to use my Bardic Inspiration after the roll? Yeah. Okay. I'm not using it. Yeah, don't. Because <laughs> 19 last time. Yeah. I mean, if 19 didn't work last time, 18 will definitely do it. Yeah, go for it. Uh, that's just, my turn. Raquel you just got to add the de-believe. De <laughs> Raquel's pouting. <sighs> I got to pee. BRB. All righty, big fight. You know you want to use web. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is an option. <laughs> yeah, it's plus 15. We'll definitely be able to not get through that. Well, we don't know what its dexterity is. <laughs> Shot web on its eye. <laughs> what, what spells do you got that could weaken it again? What do, what do, what do you got? Nah, we all all right, so here we got... Dude, I've, I've literally been spending all of your turns looking at my sheet and going like, hmm, that's either a strength save or a con save. What's your fourth level spell? Conjure Minor Elementals. Yeah, uh, I knew you fucking took it. It was either that or Polymorph. Oh, boy, I bet Polymorph wouldn't have helped at all. Nope. <laughs> Not at all. Not even a little bit. Yeah, whatever. Mine's Dimension Door. See ya. <laughs> uh, if you're closer, you do the Shield of Faith. All I'm thinking about is just like, we're in the dream. Just pray. So that yeah. somebody is just listening. If Scrumpo can pray, I can pray. Hit a pray. You can haste hug too. I could also haste hug. Those are the options. Pray or haste. Pray. Also, I'm back. Grab back. Grabbing Dr. Pepper. Recovering from Moon Moon calling my lore bullshit. I said Pepper pray. Heads. <laughs> Question is, who would I pray to? Because the only one I know of is my god, which is free? Own or Wode? They are the both gods of the dream. Okay. I'm gonna wait for Arcadum to get back then. Cause I mean, I'm just, all of my shit is usually just saves that he's going to like almost guarantee get through or have a very slim chance of doing next to oh, yeah. nothing. Also try and make the Arcana check on the, the banishment situation. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can do that. And so uh, honestly, so I'm think I'm thinking pray to Wode and be like, yo, please help, bro. Yeah, Wode is mad about this whole thing, but Wode is the god of nightmares, to be clear, that he's generally evil, but also he's not that bad of a guy, and he's probably a good option, and Owen is the nicer dream god. I'll take my, I'll um, take my chances with the nightmare. Also, meta knowledge, uh, wasn't Wode infected by the violet? Or did that not... I actually happen. have no idea. Uh, he almost was, but he destroyed it because he's powerful okay. enough to resist it. Cool. Nice. I, I, I thought one of them got violated after uh, the fireball incident. It wasn't even the fireball incident. It was the me holding up the mirror incident. Well, let's, what... consi let's consider the nature of the creature. We basically have confirmed that it's from the shadow fell. Uh, the shadow Not fell. Yeah, got to roll that shit. Well, All right, we're yeah. like 80 80 percent sure well, it's from the shadow fell. Let's let's try to imagine well, like what emotions are associated with the shadow fell, right? Um, <laughs> hold on, hold, hold, hold. Before we go like twenty minutes down this route, make the Arcana check. Okay. All I right. Forgot to, I forgot to do one on my turn. Also, God damn it. Moon Moon, the fact that you have been reading and internalizing my lore makes me so happy. Thank you. Yeah. Well, when when I said bullshit, I, that I, know, like I know, I know, I know you, I know you're messed. I know, it's all right. <laughs> I was just, I was just playing it up. It's all right. Yeah. 23. Yeah, no. What realm this bitch from? Hmm. Now 
Now that is a question. That is a very good question. Well. Also, what round are we on? When does Eustace to get to start a next round? Nice. Like three turns. Yes. Wait, was there a time limit on his appearance? Yeah. Five rounds. rounds, yeah. He comes in around five. Okay. I mean, after he arrives, does he leave? He's there until he until he's dead or leaves. Okay. I was going to say, can he just show up, look at this, and go, ah, hell no. <laughs> All right. Ow. I need to answer this properly. All right. Are you eating? Ah, sorry, I'm eating a brownie. Because that's nice. <laughs> is, it, is it good? I've been a good, is it good? Okay. Uh, the realm this creature is from is the Twilight Station. Ah, oh, shit. All right, so what does that do for you guys in the whole banishment um, situation? I don't know much about it, but I think that that's a really bad thing if it were to go there. I feel like you should go with Owen instead of Woad, just saying. Because at the very least, it would represent the antithesis of what everything this thing represents. Uh, whereas Woad would be more closely associated with a creature like this, at least in the sense of nightmares and negative emotion. I disagree. Why? Because Woad is already mad about this thing and is more willing to help. Okay. That's a good point. I concede. All right, so I pray to Wode. I say, hey, this thing's fucking up your place and it's still here. We need some help. Please. <laughs> D20 plus one. D20 plus one, huh? Mm -hmm. It's very specific. You do, you do have lucky. I do have lucky. I feel like I should burn that, you know? I mean, it's worth a shot. I mean, it's up to you, though. I don't, I don't. I honestly, I'm running out of, I'm running out of things to burn here. So. Mm, well, I got one more. It's up to you. I could pray better. You, <laughs> you had that chance. Yeah, you can't, you can't actually do that. Oh, I can't. I can't lucky a D20. Can't, luck, can't lucky a lucky. Can't lucky mm. a lucky. Can't lucky mm. a lucky. Dang. Well, can't luck you lucky. All right. So I'm going to say that the 13 Woad doesn't hear me. The 13 Woad doesn't even know who you are. <laughs> I don't even know who you are. <laughs> All right. Anything else, well, bud? Was that my turn to pray to Woad? That was your action. You have your bonus and movement. I can't do anything on my bonus. Would you like to move? What would happen if I jumped off? <laughs> what do you think would happen? <laughs> I would be away from him. Okay. Would you like to jump off? Not yet. I'm thinking about it, though. All right. I'm going to continue staring out in this direction. Okay. Icar. Well, so we've decided that we won't be banishing this thing. Um. No, no don't do that. What, no. Wait, why not? It'll go. It'll go to the Twilight Station. That's where it's from. A lot of lore has been pointing people to Twilight Station, and it would, based on everything that it seems like that might be there, it would ruin a lot. Why? Not exactly sure, but that's the that's the sentiment. Because no one's been there. I, See, I don't even know what that is. Okay, okay, okay. I actually have a good counterpoint here. As I to also why have we should... one. You, you go. I have a good counterpoint. Our entire campaign has been fucking over other people. Why stop now? Mm. <laughs> okay, counterpoint to that. We've dealt a third of its health, and we're on a trek to finish it. 
Well, so counter, ca counter, counter, counterpoint. Uh, I remember watching a specific tire campaign where that same stir line was said, and you were saved by the grace of God and not by killing the thing you were trying to kill. Um, I think the Twilight Station is probably already in infected by the violet. Right? Why would Wait, it not what, be? What same thing did I say? Oh, it was it was the the gruff fight in the hallway. Yeah, and everyone wanted to run, and I made us yeah, stay. And, yeah, and it was a good thing that we stayed. It doesn't matter how it happened. Yeah, well, it does matter because we you didn't kill it. Like, yeah, we did. The, yeah, but not you guys. The fucking grace of God. Fucking Yo, you still chose the next go. turn. You still uh, got Dick Kickum. I still got Aaron and Rakoth. Okay. Um. What's kick, the kick, worst? Fish, dick. What's the worst thing that happens if this thing returns to the Twilight Station? The worst thing? Yeah. <laughs> that, that's a slippery slope. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 if the, if this thing is from the Twilight Station, that's where the Herald came from too, right? Because everything that is violet is is connected. Not necessarily. It is unclear that this thing has always been violet. The violet corrupts things. It doesn't originate things. Um, a bit of meta knowledge, I guess, but it, it, this was just something they were fighting in the dream. And then Twilight was like, yo, this is well, mine if, now. If this is it, anything like the other Herald bosses, they're from the uh, obituary towers, which are old universes that have died. So this original creature may be from that station but sending the violet to that station is bad. Okay. Um, sending violet anywhere is <laughs> usually a bad. <laughs> well, it's not, I, I honestly don't know. I don't know. Um, all right. Well, I, I will defer to you because I don't know. And I'm and... happy. Everyone cares. Oh, I did it. Yay. Hey, fuck you. You're the one trying to kill us. <laughs> this, this is also the chance the that it has a plus 15 charisma, and it's not going to work anyway. Well, because my DC is only 14. Let's get, let's consider the Omega meta knowledge. Okay, eventually we're all going to the Twilight Station, presumably if we don't die, right? Yeah. Okay. If and you want the Omega meta knowledge, just ask Aaron because apparently he's here, and he'll say, "Bro, don't fucking do it, bro." <laughs> <laughs> well, that just makes me want to do it more. It, the, in uh. In terms of like, the Twilight Station's in front of the gates, right? Or is it behind it? Or are they even anywhere near each other? I don't know. Okay, uh, I guess definitely no banish them. Sorry, we went off on a tangent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, if it means anything, I'm still pro banish. As I sit here praying to a God I don't believe in. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, um, also, to even consider the fact that within the Twilight Station, there could be a magical mirror again, and it could just leave and go anywhere again. Well, let's kill it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah let's kill it. I mean, like, let's just do that. <laughs> yeah, oh, shit. Kick its ass. Um, Hell yeah, okay. brother. These effects that are on Hawk and Guy, are they curses? Are they... That is an excellent question. A arcana or religion check might reveal more. That is sufficient. They are spell-like effects and can be removed with dispel magic or anything that could dispel evil or curses. Great. Please help me, please. Great. Um, now I can maneuver around its... Yes. Without yep. getting attacked, right? That's fine. Yep. Do I even need to? Hang on. I believe it's touch, but I think touch is yeah. Remove curses, touch. All right. Yeah. yeah. Our car's gonna go over here, and uh, you're looking kind of ill there, buddy. <laughs> doot, 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 doot. Wow. Boo, 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 doo, boo. All right. As you place your hands upon the uh, upon guy to remove his insidious curse from the cataclysmic parables, I have good news for you, Akar. Is that so No, no, someone has pointed out that every time a bird-like creature has used remove curse, it has been incredibly good results. Yeah. Historically across all campaigns. So you're Drew. doing great. Okay, good. Ikar, since you place your hands upon Guy, 
and you attempt to remove the uh, from the presence of the curses. Not only do you remove the curse off of Guy, but you also remove the curse off of Huckleberry. So neither of them are affected anymore. But Make you also and call Michelle. You also have uncovered a secret interaction. As you have attempted to remove this curse, you may also attempt to drain the power of curses from the creature's body. Now, before you decide to do this, you should be aware that it comes with risk. Should you fail this check, terrible things can happen. But should you succeed, you will be able to seal another one of its abilities. Um, what would you like what's to do? The ch what's the check? Do I know what? <clears throat> the check would be d20 plus your caster level plus double your proficiency. So it would be... Plus 13, d20 plus 13. Plus 13. Mm -hmm. d20 plus 13. Drink its blood! Oh, fuck. What's up to you, Joe? I mean... Can I have the mug attack it before I do that? Yeah. <laughs> Just, <laughs> Just in for case. good measure. <laughs> Come it's on now, action. buddy! One last yeah. sip. Hey, there you go. Right. I'm bonking, I'm kicking its ass, boss. You fucking beautiful piece of porcelain! Yeah! I'm in its eye! I'm proud of you, mug! <laughs> Okay, check in. Here Drain we go. You can do it. Drain it. Suck it dry. A 19 it is. Darkness creature. I'm okay. Alrighty then. This is a terrible idea. Well, it was a better idea before you rolled a six. Yeah. Fine. You're good. That is sufficient. Hmm. All right. Please choose a single ability in my Dream Swim initiative to seal. Your choices are Malefic Sleep, Murderous Dream, Phantasmal Terrain, or Storm of Hate. Storm of Hate was a pretty bad one. Storm of Hate was pretty bad, but that's nothing to say that you know they're other they're all they're all bad they're all bad man well, okay I mean, I mean okay so let's let, i mean let's talk about them sleep we can counter by i just shoot magic missile at somebody yeah okay i'm cool with sealing storm of hate unless you yes. guys have we don't know what murderous dream does right? yeah, we don't know them but they are well wait he we, used we figured, that didn't he? we figured that um you have to be unconscious for him to use it ah i'm pretty sure it's going to create like a copy of you if you stay down oh yeah um let's do storm of hate that yeah, is. okay, seal it. All right. Very well. Storm of Hate is now sealed. Does he take a thousand damage? Two thousand. <laughs> Negative. Darn. Mm. All right. Anything else, Akar? That's all I can do. Very well, sir. I'm proud of you. Wait, I, I have an item interaction, right? Do yeah. I need to ready an item if, if I'm going to pass it off to somebody? Uh, or, or yes. Take it from me? Yes. All right. To I'm going to take a scroll of a shield of faith and tuck it under my hat so it's easily grabbable. Nice. <laughs> like, a, like a big cigarette. <laughs> okay. Cataclysmic Parable's turn. It's Violet Initiative. Oh, no. All right. I think it's time I'm to scared. crush some fucking hope. Help me. Let's go with. All right, the cataclysmic parable will use Herald Surge. A beam of violet light will spread itself down and zap right into Scrumpo. Make me a constitution saving throw, Scrumpo. Uh, do we still have Bless? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh dear. Great job. All right, Scrumpo, take 100 points of damage directly to the oh. face. Oh. Oh, <laughs> 100? No, not face damage. Yes, sir. Holy cannoli. All right, Scrumpo is now on the ground. In addition, he has disadvantage on all death saving throws as Violet Death ticks above his head. Uh, I've got you, buddy. Don't worry. Okay. At the start of the fifth round, however. Oh, boy. Eustace, Eustace, Eustace. The heavenly path opens. And the dream visage of a mysterious man comes running onto the scene and leaps out and may place himself on the battlefield. Tate, are you in here? 
Hey. I see this character walk in. <gasps> Is that Ward? Shoot it with fireball. Oh, he's calling <laughs> reinforcements. Someone kill him. <laughs> I'm loading. Okay. When you're loaded, let me know. Also, um, in this regard, you're in your dream form, so you have your arms. Yeah! So, yeah, don't fail any checks against this thing, just so you know. You'll lose your fucking arms. <laughs> right! We've been losing a few, still got our arms. Sorry, I probably should have connected before this because I'm loading like know. a. Um. So before, let, let's say, let's say before entering, would I have had a chance to? Um. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, change some attunements around. Negatory. Okay, so I've got me some gloves. All right. <laughs> All right, was I right here? Yeah. All right. Um. Are you loaded uh, do in? Do I have? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, place yourself on the battlefield. All oh, right, here's fine. All right, you leap into the fray. Who the hell is that uh, guy? Who are you? I shout at you. Directly at you. Am I dead? Uh, well, you might be in a minute if you don't help us kill this thing. I was just fighting one of these. What do you mean Good. just fighting one of these? Uh, everything went purple and now I'm here. Well, welcome. You're not dead, but give it a minute. Wait, wait, we're in the dream. Oh, right. This is all imaginary. We'll wake up in a moment. I'm afraid not. It feels pretty real to me, guy. I don't know. I've never done a thousand damage in real life. Um, do I have all of the? Will, will I just? Will, will I have all the knowledge of the things that they've uncovered already? Yep. Yeah. Um. Shit, man. All right, you re you begin your turn. You have your full strength, all of your key, your abilities, the knowledge that you have, all that good stuff. Rock and roll, my dude. Do, do okay. you do anything? A punch. Oh, good. You have the floor, my friend. If he's got a dick, I'll twist it. <laughs> I'm hey, sure you it does. Get in there. Do. You, you do your thing. I, I'm sorry. I don't think you belong here. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, um, shit, man. I'm sure you guys have been doing so much like interesting shit and I'm literally just like, I could punch it. Do you have like, did monks have anything useful? Like Stunning Fist? Do they get that in 5th yeah. edition? Yeah. Guess, guess my DC is 14. Oh, okay, never mind. There you go. Hey, Everything hey, uh, I've, got, I've, got, I've got an idea. I've got a real idea, okay? Mm hmm Marshall Clash it and live through the Violet Death. <laughs> I, I, go for it. Does Eustace know what, does Eustace know what's going on with him in real life? Does he, does he know in the Waking Realm what happened? Yeah. Don't lose your way. No. <laughs> or the chat. Uh, I guess uh, the, the the I guess what I'll start out with. We'll just uh, go. I'm gonna go ahead and marshal. Hey, hey, hold on. Do you have any refractions or friends? What's that? Uh, never mind. I don't think he does. I don't think he does, guy. <laughs> like you're not affiliated with you know the world. I oh, mate, um, I mean, Tears Labyrinth. Oh, we have his Oh, uh, fuck. God damn it. Stop. <laughs> uh -oh. Okay. <laughs> um, what happened? Hello? I need a second. Uh, sure. Okay. I'm really sorry for showing I up. I don't think you're helping us. <laughs> <laughs> what did you? What did you say? I don't. How is this? How could this be? Ba like that? I. So for 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 reference, Eustace and his party were literally fighting the Herald. Um, and like the Herald. The yeah. 
It wasn't no. the Herald, it was one of his champions. It was his champion, but the Herald was attacking us through portals, like, directly. Right. Um, and Herald. Eustace is here because of an attempt to close one of the portals, failed, and he went unconscious, and he was just floating through I the dream and saw you guys. Nice. I, I mean, you did just arrive here, so maybe it knows you came here through a portal from that place. It's got to know already, right? Like, he, didn't, I mean, he, didn't, wow. he didn't arrive through a portal. No, I didn't arrive through a portal, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. He didn't know... He's saying that he was attacking you through portals, but he didn't actually know where he was. But now he knows exactly where. <laughs> hmm. Now he knows where you are. Well, the... The violet was like sent into the labyrinth like they've got to know i don't think he had that much control but now he now he knows exactly where to go all right hold on i need to do a call oh dear uh let's oh. see here what time is it this sounds super complicated all right um i could i could leave no 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 you're here now you're in it to win it my friend that doesn't sound like what's gonna happen. <laughs> All right, mm, no. Hey. Fuck, Kraken's drunk on stream. Can't use him. <laughs> uh, whoops! If you're here, get in here. He's here. Uh, let's see. Strippin', if you're listening, get in here if you can. Uh, here we go. Let's see. So, this is fun. Any of the rest of the gamblers, gamblers delight if you're there. Get in here. I think Alex is I'll call a party. In. And it's a party in here now. Oh fuck! All right. Maybe this is actually bad for the enemy. Maybe that's why Arcadium is so exasperated because he's <laughs> I'm like, really, I'm I'm that damn, I doubt the. Do you have a Rouse token? Yeah. Saves on your computer. Yeah. You be just connect to the. Map tools be right. Wait, Lily oh, Pichu was in here this whole time. <laughs> She's yeah. probably so confused. All right. Okay, as you speak Tyr's name, the creature will immediately turn its attention on you, Eustace. <laughs> like what you see? The traitor. <laughs> And then it will look behind you to the heavenly path. And it realizes where you came from. Oh, no. I didn't come through a portal, though. No, you just walked here on the heavenly path. All right. Oh, well, the cataclysmic on the yellow brick road. The cataclysmic parable will now no longer be interested in any of you as it stares towards the path in which Eustace has walked, which now it knows on the other end. Tears Labyrinth. All right. I'm going to try and spell this out as yeah. straightforward as I can. Because, because of that name drop, <laughs> You're because all going to die. I now have in character for that, for that servant the knowledge of how to get to the Labyrinth. If you do not stop this creature from getting to the Heavenly Path, I'm probably going to end up wiping most of the groups. So, here's okay. what you need to do. You all need to stop it from doing that. Uh-huh. Oh, that's oh, it? Oh, good idea. Fuck. Okay. Okay. I, I can Whoa. You know, now that you nice. put it like that, I had no, I didn't think I about doing that I thought you were going to give us hints. I could plane shift eight people here, <laughs> cut it off halfway. Eustace looks to the sky. I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying, plane shift at this point because <laughs> the downside is it's already going where it wants to go. We can't, uh, I can't, we can't plane shift until it starts to run. Wait, how can uh, you plane shift? Were you gonna do it with Aslan because you already used him? I used my refraction of Aslan. He's gonna use actual Aslan. I'm gonna oh. use in the flesh seventh level spell plane shift people from camp last stand here to kill this thing, Aslan. 
Boy, well, this might, the, this might be the ultimate prank, Tate. You, you might see, you might have absolutely pulled the ultimate prank here. It's going to that camp the anyway. For a uh, roast, and if you want, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just joking, guys. Yeah, it I was saw. just a prank. All right. Well, I anyway, still have I still have all the data for Sia and Anuchio as well. If you need refractions, you got it. Eustace, it's your turn. What do you do? Um, can I make a check to see if I can destroy the road? Uh, I I can answer that for you right now without a check. You can close the heavenly path. If you do, however, you will now become a full combatant in this. If you're killed, you can be violent death, and you cannot return to your party until this creature is dead. That's which an means, easy choice. Which means yeah. that if we end this session, which we probably will, uh, still fighting it, you will not be able to participate in the next session of Shadow of Tear. I choose to close the road. Whoa! As, as you wish. Surprise! I was gonna say that's the, 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 the that's the that's the play there. The well, other hi new is... hi new friend. The heavenly hey, path dude. is closed. Your body fully manifests here, and until oh, this no. until this well yeah I, yeah. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> How much of my body fully manifests here? Uh, About seventy-five percent of it. <laughs> all right. All right. Wait, Your body yes, fully I... manifests, and Eustace will lose his arms. He <laughs> <laughs> um... got a cripple. <laughs> all right. Uh, are you good at headbutting? I'm all right at kicking. I'd okay, ask if you could lend a hand, but that might be insensitive. Oh, oh come on, Huck. Are you good? Come on, man! All right. You walked here. You had arms. You broke the path. Now you don't have arms. Wait, since Explain the path is yourself. broken, can I not get there anymore? Correct. So, that, <laughs> that you can return to what you were doing. Apologies. All right. Good luck, guys. <laughs> GLHF. <laughs> well, that was almost bad. I think that it is still bad. Um. Can you do anything without arm? Can you bite it? Real hard. Hold on, I'm just, telling Alex and Kryken that they don't need to panic and be here anymore. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's just they were in the middle guys. of the street, like I'll drop this shit right now. I'm like, no, 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 don't do it. Don't I, I never did want to die alone. Hey, I just, it, I, I just want to point out, it's just like here, by the way, the the way our kid is like, instead, of, oh, don't worry, all your campaigns, don't worry, they won't die. Just your teammate. Fine. Move on. Just a, a is Aaron physically here? Can you still see Aaron here? Aaron can see you can Eustace can see Aaron like floating in the many different visages of Guy. Uh-huh. And he will look at you sternly and say, Bruh. <laughs> I'm not even gonna ask. Alright, Eustace, your turn. Let's rock and roll. I got fucking don't lose your way playing. Let's go. Uh can I ice folly with kicks? You know you can. I do it. All right. I need ownership. Oh. Uh, where are you? <laughs> How does it feel to be a scattered clown? It's really not that much different from being a gambler. <laughs> Honorary clown. Yeah, we could probably do an exchange program and it wouldn't be that different. <laughs> really? <laughs> All right, am I good? Yep, we go can ahead. send him scrumpo. Rock and right. roll, baby. We're going to hit uh, an ice volley, two ice volleys. Hopefully, maybe, probably not. Oh, there's one. Um, and then we're going to hit him with bam. Okay, are you going to use a uh, stunning fist? No, I'm going to use flurry. Flurry, all right. Seven damage, deck saving throw. Take half for six cold. Oh, he's only got seven to dex. Mmm, he's a big oh. boy. <coughs> Excuse me. Not very Probably doesn't dex. have great charisma. <laughs> That's true. All right, anything else, Eustace? Uh, yeah, we're going to flurry a uh, couple more icy boys. Start kicking. Oh. Those will miss. They sure will. <laughs> all right. We all play oh. and laugh. Good job, Eustace. Next is Guy. Um, you know what you have to do, guy. Do I? Is am I team silent still? It's been. So, I feel like it's been two hours since my turn. I just lost track. What was that? You're gonna clash do? again. 
the silence would probably weaken him. Maybe. Hopefully. How? We've already shut off his ability to talk, kind of. True. So the silence isn't really going to do much else. I still have Bless, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Bless, Bless. And we've already... And, and the Herald is now in his eye, so if you fail the clash, you're just dead. It's not like a well, you take damage. Well, he doesn't have to, to clash with its eye. Well, I mean, I, I think if he clashes with it in general and loses. Um, I mean, I can still call on Aaron and Rakoth. Do I it. I would do that. And Krumpo is down. Um, I'm going to make a... Yeah, I'm going to power play and call on Aaron. Yes. All right. Let me go Which get, one's Aaron? Let me go get the Aaron's cleric. name. The squid. Squid nice. boy. Squid kid. Let me go get Aaron's theme. My avatar in Discord, actually. Oh, nice. This is going to confuse the shit out of Eustace. Give me the backstory here, because I actually don't know. Aaron um, is at the camp that Eustace is, like, everyone's in. He's kind of like our guide sort of deal. Gotcha. Yeah, I stand in town and tell the three groups why they're dumb. <laughs> so it's strange to be seeing him doing dumb things here on our off day. Yeah, you know, this is kind of a chain reaction thing. I wouldn't be here if not for what Aaron did. All right, uh, here is <coughs> Aaron's theme. All right. Did Stark use this or did you? I did. I've never heard this before. It's playing in my Oculus. Very nice. Very helpful. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. As you summon forth Aaron's presence, Aaron, who is equal to Azalon in strength, but with a different focus. While Azalon cares about the well being of others, Aaron is the teeth in the dark, the prophet of the depth, speaker of the Leviathans. Aaron will summon forth black Icarus tentacles and will wrap them around the creature. Big damage. And with one resounding bruh. <laughs> Damn. Ooh. Wow. All right. Better than average. All right. Bruh. We'll deal 166 damage to the creature, and it is stunned for one round. Whoa! Oh. Now, okay, when it's stunned for one round, like one full round and all one initiative. different initiatives? Or does it just... Oh, one okay. initiative. Yeah. Does this stun affect the clash? Uh, Yes, although it can still resist on the clash, but it will have disadvantage. Okay, uh, just making sure, because like Huckleberry should probably go for this. All right, well he, done. He, he, nice to... Disadvantage. Hmm. I don't know. It's still pretty sketchy. Um, you have bless, right? I have bless, yeah. Oh, it's got uh, it. Huckleberry. Uh, you will literally die forever. Do it. God, I should be so lucky. Um, I, I'm so scared for you. I can't tell you to do it. Because it's like, if you fail, you're dead. And it's going to be such a god, shit Steve feeling. So sick. But if you do do it, you're going to be a god and do like a thousand damage. But if you fail, we're fucked. But if, if you, you don't do it, we're fucked. Watching recent campaigns and watching our own campaign and witnessing all of the, the literal failures to roll acceptably, I feel like perhaps now is the time. Do I know? Am I aware of the gravity of the situation? Yeah. I'm like as as Huck. Okay. If you oh, fail I'm here, glad, partner. Oh, hold on, everybody. I have a bot that does random calculations in my chat percentage, and someone in my chat said percent Huck makes it, and the bot said one hundred percent. Well, if the bot said it, um, this is an attack roll with advantage. Yep, and I will attack you as an opposed check with disadvantage. Please keep in mind that before you roll and attempt this, if you fail, it is violet death. Are you sure? I mean... Praise the music. Huck, Huck's... Huck's been around. He cares about his friends. Hang on, I gotta do this character. 
All right, partners. It's either time for me to hit the old dusty trail or take this thing out for one last ride. I want you to know that this has been the most fun rodeo I've ever had. The honor of serving in. Oh my word, I'm a drama queen, admittedly, and I didn't even make that big of a deal out of it. <laughs> I give Huck a salute. Scrump from uh, very far away. I'm giving uh, him a salute. Icar, Icar takes off his hat, but catches the scroll before it falls to the ground. <laughs> salute, you with your feet. <laughs> salute with your feet, pussy. Yeah. <laughs> you just hear a fucking... <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. All right. Let's uh, go, cowboy. That is the first one. Advantage. Oh my god. Oh That's no. Him. But he has oh disadvantage my. at least, right? Correct. Yep. And you have bless. So. Oh, 21. 21. <sighs> That's a mm. not great rolling. Uh, you have inspiration. I gave it to you. Oh, yeah, and I will Use do it. that. Please, God. Five. Okay. okay. It's, a D, it's a D8. It's a D8. Not a D8. Oh, it is? Oh. Yes, yeah. D8. All right, the same thing. <laughs> Fate. All right, 21 plus 5 is 26. And I roll with disadvantage, gnashing teeth. Should the worst happen? It was a pleasure, Octo. For real. Disadvantage roll. Oh, oh my god! Ah! Yeah, dude! Huckleberry rides up on the Dream Realm and wields Big Iron with all his strength. The creature clashes against his weapon. The Violet Herald watches through the eye. It burns with fire. Huckleberry's hat is blown away. His face is singed with violet flame. It threatens to pull out his soul to destroy his very existence. But this cowboy has got a lot more fight in him than that. And you push through and shatter the creature's teeth. It may now no longer use gnashing teeth. Oh, fat. Um, Huckleberry spits like he's spitting into a spittoon. Well done. Holy, holy fuck, man. Well done, Huckleberry. It really is like I'm back home. One thousand <laughs> damage. Or possible. <laughs> Time to sleep, cowpoke. Wisdom oh. saving throw. Oh, no. Not again. No, he said cowpoke. <laughs> now let me tell you. I don't know if Bless is going to help that, but you have it. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> now I got a thing or two to pin. <laughs> oh, he's all fucking out. Scrumple. Disadvantage uh, D20. Death, yeah, but you got disadvantage on him. Oh, fuck. I don't know why I rolled twice. I already failed. <laughs> um, did the the clash didn't do damage? It just it did. disabled his. Um, it did. Oh, it did. Yeah. Oh, oh, sweet. Okay, okay. All right, that's one fail. Big pipe. Okay, so real quick question: Who has the wand of heal? Or I was just about to ask that question as well. I, I think I may have it. Okay. It's, it's in my inventory, but I feel like we passed it around a bit. So if somebody else definitively has it. Let I'm just know. asking who definitively has it. Yeah, Number two, is it is is it a touch? Uh, Pure wounds is touch, so I'm I'm assuming. Okay, so I can't just like. Are, are you throw flying? Them. I'm not flying, not okay. yet. Okay. Um, Did we still want to do the flying fireball idea? I mean, was six feet. That that's like in a round. I think. I think this round you have to wake uh, Huck up. He's asleep, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm asleep. Yeah, fucking wake that bitch up, dude. He's literally... <laughs> That's the second time in the he's, fight of He's the hero, dude. He is yeah. the hero. Yeah. You could fireball. Da you Listen. could fireball. There's no... I mean... He doesn't have teeth. What's he gonna do? Gum him to death? That's true. I still have teeth. I just can't use Maybe gnashing teeth. Gnashing teeth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The personal offense in Arcadia's voice. <laughs> I still have them. Come on. Um. 
Look, man, if you want to fireball, you can just understand that it's going to do full damage to Huck. Which you honestly, should, uh, you should heal Strumbo. He can't be. Like, how? How, how well, am I going has, to heal? Who has this the thing? Well, first, I mean, I, it's a I've car. I've got it. I'm closest. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take care of him anyway. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Dude. So my Never. options are shoot Huck with magic missile again. Uh, cast fly <laughs> on myself to prep for to aerial fireball him in the mouth. Or I'd pray to Woad that. again. Shoot Huckleberry. Yeah, I'd shoot Huck. He never shoot. misses. Shoot the hostage. <laughs> <laughs> well, before I do that, let's see if I can even Arcana check. Let's do that, because it's free. Wake me up. Wake me up and shine. I want to okay. wake up. <laughs> With this, I want to know if casting a fireball inside of him would do anything specific. It would deal damage. Okay. Just wanted to know if it would do anything specific. Uh, it is not clear that it would, no. Okay. Just wanted it, to know. It, it, We're throwing that, away the fireball idea. <laughs> no, 22 aside, bro, the literally the trope for giant fucking monster beast getting blown up from the inside is eternal, dude. Don't let it, don't let Arcadum dissuade you. But, what? You're the one <laughs> dissuading me. I could fly right now. What, what? I could do it. Wake I up, Huck. Wake up, Huck. Wake up, Huck. I think that's don't what let it, don't, do. don't let it dissuade you, but don't do it. Well, not this turn, obviously, because uh, at the very least, Huck will get his next turn instead of losing it. <clears throat> All right. The second magic missile will hit Huck. The other two will hit the shark. You got it. Nice. <laughs> Fine. I'll take the four damage. Get up! It's like Stop getting falling hit, asleep. Getting hit with the shock paddles from the paramedics. <laughs> <laughs> Get up, damn you! Well, I was having a dream. Oh, we're still in a dream. Wait a minute. My head hurts. Snake All right, Snake. he's still stunned, right? So I can move without. Uh, negative. He is no longer stunned. Oh, I thought he was okay because done until his next initiative, which has now occurred. So, oh right. <coughs> um. Well, shit. It's an action to disengage, right? That is correct, sir. Well, that's not gonna help. I me mean, at all. you could. You can honestly, bonus... I would just take the the you know let him gum you a little bit. He has a bonus action heal, right? <laughs> yeah. Don't you? What what is that called? It's like healing word or some healing shit. Word, yeah. Is that, uh, uh, is that melee range? Uh, is that doesn't, feet. I don't, that's not my spell book. Oh, he, it's didn't a, it? oh, he doesn't have healing word prepared. Oh, rip. Honestly, I think that getting Scrumpo off death would be better. Because I, I highly doubt that he's going to be able to deal 61 damage to you. Sure, yeah, let's let's roll those dice. Well, well actually, no, it would no, be 68 because you still have temp HP. I do. The thing is, is that if you don't get him up, he's going to try and finish Scrumpo off. What's the dilemma? Don't you have a heal wand? It's yeah, but I don't have the reach. Yeah, the the wand is it's a wand of, wound of cure wounds, isn't it? Oh. Wand of cure wounds is a touch. Oh, it's a touch. I was like, yeah, when did we get a fucking heal wand? Yeah. <laughs> I was just rolling with it. I don't think I don't I, have anything honestly, else. Honestly, I say eat the disengage. I could also like. Is it? I mean, I could channel stunned? divinity to heal, but I don't know if Sekel Q's will answer. We, we haven't tested oh, he it yet. will totally answer. No, the dream's closer to where your god is than Quirg ever could be. Yeah, okay. All right. Channel Divinity to heal. Yeah. Oh, uh, baby. So, yeah. All right. So that's going to be... God, what is the life clerics thing? It's... I, it's... I remember it always <laughs> made me mad. Let's see. Cleric. I'm on it. I'm getting there. I'm there. Let's see. Channel of Indy Life. It's number of hit points. You go to five times your cleric level. You guys are level seven, so that's 35 hit points. So Scrumpo heals 35 up to a maximum of half his HP. Half his HP. Yep. So that's 33. So Scrumpo, set yourself to 33, sir. Yes. Boom, baby. <laughs> nice to chat with you again, Sec. I hope you're doing great. Sec will give you a thumbs up. And uh, I'm mugging this shit. Oh shit! I'm getting mugged. 
Oh, oh shit! My God, I got guy. fucking mugged. He's probably popping off, bro. Pop, 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 pop. I'm doing my best, boss. You're doing great. I'm just a container for liquid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Violet turn. Oh, great. All right. This is going to be some fucking meta shit for you guys, but on this on this turn, the herald will use he that watches and will target Eustace. Eustace, no. for the remainder of this battle, anything you say, do, every ability that you use, and anything that you reference, the Herald knows, and every Violet servant will also know. Like, know that he did it, or, like, learn how to do it themselves? Yes. Okay. Did Eustace know this? <laughs> yes. Okay. That means no power words! I don't know if you actually know any. Nope. All right. Good I, thing. Yeah, I Just kick kick the shit out of this guy. All right, and we will get to the top of the round, but unfortunately, that is time exactly <clears throat> on round six. Okay. So I have to call it here, fellas. Damn. Wow. Let's all get to round seven and die. Oh man, I missed out on my seventh episode. Sorry, Rip, it's okay. Well, you're help. You're helping us defeat the thing that. Well, to be fair, if you didn't break the road, you wouldn't have a seventh episode. Yeah, there's a fun. solid chance. That's pretty true. Yeah. Good job, guys. You're doing great. All yeah. right. Yeah. Almost at half health. <laughs> hey, what? last time I did great against something like this, it turned into phase two. Oh. Yeah, something tells me the 3,000 HP monster might not have a die and then turned into phase two mode. You never know, man. You guys are doing great. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> yeah. I, I won't, I won't lie. Fun. When you took off 1,000 HP, I was like, oh, so we just got to go through three, three damage phases. We're fine. And then we did the second part and we unlocked something. We sealed an ability and then no new damage went through. I was like, oh. Uh, when okay. I, oh, right, right. I took away its gnashing teeth ability. That's what I took. Well, like, the thing, Aww. the thing that did all that damage to it was re removing its initiative. So we yeah. have to find the, we have to find the source of how it's of able the to other do initiatives. This. Like, yeah. I would say we're, we're even close to ending the devour initiative because, uh, Huck literally smashed some of its teeth up. Like, you know, yeah, you take that. They call me the dentist. Like, okay, if well, we how... if we, dude, like, for example, Big Pipe could fucking web its mouth closed. Boom. No devour phase. I don't know. Shit yeah, like shoot. that. Shoot your web all over its mouth. Yeah. yeah. Um, does Eustace have anything that he could call to, like everybody else did, or am I just... Is Eustace the thing that was called to? You were one of the things that was called. Okay. But hey, good job, everybody. Let's, hey, look, right. let's look at some fan Show art. Show me that art. Someone oh, just yeah, tweeted me that? some insane art of a car. I'm still going to have to fly, though, if I want to do that. Sick. I'm thinking about it now, Moon. Man. Yes. <laughs> good sesh. Thank that was a good sesh. Thank you guys so much for playing. Solid sesh. Yeah. I thought I was dead. I thought I was so, like for real, forever dead. Arcade, I need a, a quick uh, timeline clarification. Yeah. Uh, Eustace traveled back in time. Did he? I mean, technically, he would have been traveled back in time, right? Or we moved forward in time when we entered the dream. It's either one of those two. Because we transitioned from Quirg, uh, which where time moves slower to the dream right so he the the most logical time bullshit would be that eustace literally traveled back in time somehow using the the heavenly way right i can't I answer know. that okay uh, time, I'm just... time, is, time is a circle bro yeah time yeah. is a circle bro this has I been a crazy in. fight thanks for some evil ideas playing hula hoop Rude right devil. now yeah, who drew this happening simultaneously oh that's anonius who is in the horny jail it was great. Ooh, an animation. Ooh. Oh. Shattered crown. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like That's it. Me? Amazing. Why would it have been me? 
<laughs> oh, we have a gotcha card of Kairos. The tree bearing Ooh. fruit. I love this skin. I was expecting more pubic hair in this when you said gotcha card. <laughs> That's quite a bit. <laughs> For Ronnie! Oh, yeah. We got to get the guns. <laughs> Wait, did we spell Ronnie like morons? <laughs> Defender of the innocent. Kairos Ignatius. Fucking cool. Hell oh, yeah. I love it. Oh, we got ourselves Shadow of Polaris. I, I love Shadow of Polaris' like game art style. There's Big Pipe. Yeah. There's Scrumpo. Recently stabbed somebody. Yeah. <laughs> Why is he wearing glasses? Wait, are those glasses? No, it's just how his He's eyes got are. Big eyes. I'm blind. I want to imagine that's the translator you just stabbed. Yes. Uh, Jazz hands. This, they've been drawing them like in a dating sim, so it's Shady Goat, <laughs> and then the background. I love it. The background is Gangster Scrumple. Like, oh shit, Wadu <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so there's this guy that makes a uh, themed dice based off the campaigns. This is a Baru Fireball Giant D20. Pretty good. Fireball. Oh, Ooh. oh Ooh. shit! Now we're getting nice. to the. We're getting to the crazy gotcha art. This, oh, fashionable bookworm car. Dude. Oh, I love this. I just saw it on Twitter. It's fan fucking oh, nice. oh, my, oh, my God. Dude, only three stars? Wow. Uh, here's, Mug. Here we you go. You cheated. Another gotcha. Um, this is the headed Centarman Huckleberry, his Halloween skin. Ooh, Halloween Huck. That's so cool. That's so cool. I love that. Oh, he's so fancy. Yeah. Here's, uh, here's the so four sick. that he's done so far. Cold-blooded, bed-warmered guy. <laughs> <laughs> see, that, see the pubic hair? That's what I meant. That's what my joke meant. Okay, sorry. <laughs> no, I get it. I get it. Okay, good. <laughs> I wasn't just randomly shouting the word pubic hair. <laughs> it, I was a 50-50 when I heard you say it the first time, but now I get it. <laughs> That's perfect. Oh my god, love that one. That's pretty good. <laughs> Retaliation. Look at this huckleberry. Ooh, all right. Look at this handsome huck with this handsome mustache. Back. He's not happy. Nice. He's back alley yeah. scrumpo. They should call me dramatic. I feel like Yes. <laughs> Azalon misses Alexander and creates an illusion of him so he can speak with his friend again. Oh, dude, <laughs> that's a. Oh, come on, man. They it's not quite that <laughs> emotional. I, I the the way I explain it, it, it's like Alexander like legitimately like sacrificed himself for his party, and like it's just kind of like being reminded that. Uh, and I want to say it was even Aslan's idea to open the portal to begin with. So basically, he got Alexander killed by proxy. Man, so I love it, this. You, I love this art style, dude. Fuck. Say that I love the gotcha unit theme. That's yeah. a really cool theme. It's cool. It's super cool. I make holes in teeth. <laughs> you That's sure me. do, buddy. <laughs> Being a scientist, but wanting to be more artistic. This is, okay. Varum by the numbers. Our Shattered Crown Adventurers have roughly 2,700 teeth in the Tooth Adventures so far. But since a typical human only has 32 teeth, what does this number of teeth look like? First, consider the weight. For online papers, the typical tooth weighs wow. somewhere between 0.51 to 2.28 grams. <laughs> oh my god. What are okay. you doing? Or about no, the no, no, weight of a typical gallon of milk. For the volume, a good average is 94 mm3. So for the packing efficiency, 55% is a good estimate. Okay? This mm, comes yeah. out to 2,700 teeth equals 461 milliliters, about the volume of a can and a half of soda. Okay. Nice. Okay. Thank you, scientist. I drink the teeth. I feel like you could have spent your time doing something better than I... this, though. No, that's a, how I, you're supposed to spend your time. I Yo, did a, we ever spend our money? No. No. <laughs> we sent Tim to buy us stuff and we dipped. Yeah, because <laughs> we didn't wait for them to come <laughs> back. I forgot. Oh, that's sick. That's fucking awesome. That's Man, that's great. We had waited for him to come back with our upgrades before doing this fight. Uh, Guy that drinking out of a wine trip. glass is nice. Another big pipe. Hey. Ooh. Even more big One. pipe. One day I'll get more modifications to my body. Big One day. 
It's a pain in the Well, pain. I mean, didn't we send the 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 guy out to get our uh Yeah, we did. Store? And weren't you getting the hand in the the leg? Yes. The but leg? Who oh knows? my god, dude. Oh. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> that is an old meme. Wow. Armed and dangerous. Eustace, join the chat. <laughs> you know. Help! Guy, leave. <laughs> but why? <laughs> but why? Big type flick. Nice. I'm just realizing how sad it is I didn't ask Gruff to help. Look at this those. is his wheelhouse. Big upgrades. Yes! The Swiss Army hand. I need the Swiss Army hand. The view through the, the stool what? peg wait, leg. Ho wait, hold on. Can you go back for a second? Just for a second here. Do I have a human leg on? I'm just transcending. It's a, it's a lady's leg. There's a heel there. Nice. The yeah. <laughs> All right. That happened. Hell yeah. Eustace is here to lend a leg. Wait, Big Pipe is a satyr, so you have cloven feet anyway, right? Yeah. yeah. So, it's... so te technically, that's an upgrade. <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah. True. Vore shark. Oh, yeah, he'll eat you. Mm. Ooh. Smash those teeth out now. Can you imagine if we go back to, to the Verum and we've got all these teeth? Well, that's assuming. Okay, we're... you know, that, that, brings up a, that brings up a question. The teeth that he smashed out, can we spend those? Mm, those are probably worth a lot. <laughs> How much are uh -oh. violet teeth worth? Oh, God. This isn't my dad. Yo, that's sick. Holy shit. <laughs> Damn, two initiative sure is a lot. There's three, actually. <laughs> no, there was four. There's four. Because he's got Violet, too. Oh, if God, not it's more... a shambler. <laughs> this is a uh, demon for Kairos uh, in a fancy hat. I want to bring back demon, demon Kairos. I want to bring him back. When Eustace arrives in round five. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> This is... It's amazing. <laughs> oh, this is weird, but my mustache is all right. Right, you're fine. Still looking good, though. Oh, man, this is... <laughs> this is awesome. God, I love the angle on this. Hell, oh, that's yeah. cool. Oh, that's Hell. sick, dude. That's so cool. You can see Eustace in the background with his water arms. Yeah. <laughs> haven't busted those bad boys out yet. Ah, the tattered gowns going straight to DVD. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that Marty Roberts, the singer of Big Iron, or some shit? <laughs> Can I change my token? Like, it, like I love my art currently, but like honestly, it's, uh, I feel like I should just uh, change yeah. mine to a literal pipe, <laughs> just a big pipe, dude. Ooh la 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 la. Oh my, ra, ma, ma. <laughs> I forgot that happened this session. I'm so sorry to everyone. I've been thinking about it nonstop since it happened. Oh, God, <laughs> in a barrel of mess. <laughs> <laughs> the best part is you forgot the words where there's not actually any words. <laughs> you just, just splash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Custom D&D &D beats to TPK and relax to. <laughs> <laughs> Get in there, mug! I'm just a mug! Big Pipe's tears. <laughs> oh. Violet that Shark. That do, 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 do. Violet Shark. shark. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> Somebody reach <laughs> oh, There we go! <laughs> oh, that is very, very good. That's perfect, Great. dude. Violet shark. If you draw these Dude. things, please at me on Twitter. Thank you. <laughs> That's fucked up, man. Don't worry, guys. I'm here to help. <laughs> <laughs> this is the guy they sent. <laughs> they oh, this one's anyone. sick. <laughs> and car calling on the Kenku Lords. Oh, Ooh. shit. A feather. Hell yeah. You know how disappointed the Kenku Lords are that you gave it to like a, a non-bird? 
So why did you give it to Guy, Joe? Because I he had the uh, the most important weapon, I thought, and I wanted him to stay alive. Mm. Nice. True. Good decision making. Broderick is formed into Scrumpo. That's good. <laughs> oh God! Why? Wow. That's oh, exactly that's what his hair looked like. Good I job. love it. <laughs> For glory. That's more accurate. Fireball. Yep. 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 Help me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uba. Uga ga. Uga. <laughs> I like how in that last one, Huck's body just looked like a sausage with legs. <laughs> oh, that's—I mean—that's basically what it is. It's a big old horse sausage. <laughs> horse sausage. Is that us on our spaceship? Oh no, those are daggers, not a steering wheel. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Nice. Okay, some nice. Uh, that's huck. sweet, Huck. Yeah. Here's, here's another Pretty nipple. Huck. Oh my goodness. Yeah, buddy. Oh. Ooh, wow. That's a better Huck. You see, this is what I see when I look in the mirror. More handsome. Everybody always tells me I, I look see like some a... people need my help. What sort of dream monster we fighting, eh? Pfft, I see you guys totally got this. <laughs> 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 oh, this is a sick scene. I love the water Rayman hands. That's such a funny idea, actually. Oh, that's cool. Oh, this is an awesome scene. That's why it's Rayman 2, The Great Escape. <laughs> Pretty good. He's turned on. Cool. Smile, you son of a bitch. <laughs> and some of these I can't click on. Guy challenging the fucking the enemy. Oh, that's awesome. Ooh. So, can you describe what exactly the cataclysmic parable looks like? It looks like a shadowy shark with violet energy emanating from within it mm. okay but is it like longer than a typical shark is it like kind of like oh a it's snake gargantuan and a it's gargantuan in size it's 40 feet long. Yeah, yeah i mean like like in its proportions because you said it like coiled around me yeah it's, Does a, it it's have more like... serpentine than, than a oh okay is. cool cool yeah. yeah yeah so it's sort of like a combination of both you know you know what uh fucking steve Irwin, tommy we gotta punch it in the nose dude <laughs> <laughs> boom sure, instant shark up. ko Nice. Eustace can water punch it in the, the fucking nose. Dude, I want to do a like a fucking up tilt, like a <laughs> up tilt. Big pipe is T posing. That's what I was. That's what I was in the crystal, unable to do anything. <laughs> T posing on Asalon everybody. Asalon comes forth. Cute. Nice. Baby. Fucking Bob. nerd loser. My mother hit me harder. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is a cool God, you want to talk scene. about anything? I mean, dude, this is we're awesome. friends. We're here for you. Oh, damn. Oh. That's sick, dude. Cool. That's fantastic. Yeah. God, this is so cool, dude. Look at Guy's sword. Oh, it's sick. Oh, somebody drew it again. Oh, that's so good. Damn. That's cool as fuck. That's awesome. <laughs> Ashley... <laughs> yes! Bless them, Lumnaris! <laughs> <laughs> it's this... canon. That's perfect. <laughs> That's perfect. Oh, I don't like my temp healing that I got now. Can I take that back? <laughs> oh, look at this, a car. Nice. That's sweet. It's a good look. <laughs> you shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, he's not happy about that. <laughs> Guy slings at the creature's eye with Mad Morph behind him. Awesome. Hell nice. yeah. Oh, man. Big pipe. What was his name in Garfield? Steve? John. Yeah. Oh, John. That, that, that one's one, sick. That one's super That's cool. cool. That's amazing. He uses his refracted soul. That's so cool. Wait, these to me. Get over here already, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> I like when people dress Scrumple really cute like that. It's always really funny to me. He's so shiny. We gotta yeah. get him some clothes, man. Mm. The diaper era is over. Is is this? 
we yeah, were gonna get him clothes. We bought him clothes, but we didn't wait. Did buy him clothes. Yeah. Oh yeah. We have so much unsaid business. Yeah. Hit <laughs> red. Please, Wode. Please. That's awesome. This is this is this is mean. This this is wrong, dude. <laughs> I killed Tade, hashtag baby bro. I fucking took it's my selfie, bro. <laughs> Good. Go. Come on. Oh, this one's so cool. Oh, that's cool as hell. That's sick. So oh, who's is that who? Wh who's that on the other side? Uh, that's uh, that's the people taking. That that, yeah, no, 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 no. That's oh. that's uh, the people taking on uh, uh, the champion. Uh, Heart of Tear. Mm. That's mm. Um, Gamblers of Delight. No, no, no they're, they're not Gamblers of Delight. They're the LNC group. They're uh, Scott Jund mm. and they Summer and the, all them. Oh. They're the mm. reason that the parable had the eye injury to begin with. Yeah, Mad Morph is mm. the one who caught him the first time, and now you stand and go, "Oh, it's so good, dude! I love it so much." Doot to doot, let me take care of that problem. <laughs> <laughs> We're here for your dick. <laughs> God, he's really gonna one punch him. You, you gotta summon dick kick him. When you got some blueberry vodka and you just gotta have a good time. I love that, but also I want to forget everything about last night. Oh wait, I don't remember it. Oh man, somebody drew this for you. Uh, use, use this. Oh no. Uh, okay. Corrupted. Tank. Shit, homie, fuck. Ow. Who are you? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> We're in Tears hey. Labyrinth. One moment, please. <laughs> Guys, I'll just leave. You're in here now. He's staying here. Guys, yeah, look. Well. It's Woad. My prayers have been answered. <laughs> 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 oh, I came here from Tears Labyrinth. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> yeah. I want a uh, <laughs> one gem for each initiative. You I wanna... fucking asshole. <laughs> Break I want him a meme with the shark that's like scattered clowns. I sleep. Tears labyrinth. Real shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Somebody just drew Aaron with a fucking gun. <laughs> <laughs> gonna shoot it. Bruh. Creepy squid kid. Oh man, somebody this one's sick. Somebody did fan art of the monster. Holy oh, God. God. That's so awesome. Right? Dude. Right? That's so cool. Can, can that be the new token? Oh, that's Jesus. fucking sick. Can we? Please. That's awesome. That's gotta be it. <laughs> to the Violet Lord I will go. <laughs> Are you sure you'll be handy this fight? Okay. <laughs> He's so sad. <laughs> Scrumpo's refracted souls. That's awesome. Oh, that's sick. Oh, it's so cool, dude. <laughs> he looks at you and just says, bruh. <laughs> Appropriate. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude! Look at this one. Oh, that's cool as hell. I assume that's him closing the. Uh, Amazing. Yeah. The thing. Cool. That's sick. Fuck, man. That's a lot cooler that than, than me just being like, yeah, never mind, and then losing my arms. <laughs> oh shit, we're Bro. getting to the part. We're getting to the part where Hug where Hug wins the clash. This is gonna be so good. 
Here's the first I'm one. I'm ready for these. Yeah. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> nice. nice! Oh, that's so cool. I oh. actually thought you were gonna die, Huck. I, I definitely I thought you were gonna die. I thought I was dead. I was like 95% sure I was gonna die. Bro, the bot never lies. Wow. The, the odds were in our favor. Yo, I gotta borrow that that's bot cool. when I'm doing gotcha pulls, for real. <laughs> oh my god, high school. There's a high... I love the gotcha art, man. Sensual morning announcer guy. <laughs> Dude, look at that. <laughs> Whoa! Holy shit. Yo, that's sick. <laughs> that's, that's great. That's only a three it. star. That's at least a four. Look star. at the car alarm clock in the back <laughs> and the the fucking. Nah, floor. that's a six oh, star. Wow. The gruff, the six star. The gruff wobble. Yeah. <laughs> is that scrubbo in the back? I think Outside? so. Oh, that's so. It good. is. That's, that's definitely a diaper. Brain. We're praying to a, a poster of Huck. I think. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, that was me almost dead. I'm assuming, or maybe me falling asleep. I don't know. Gollum, Gollum. but can you twist? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Another Huck one. So awesome! Look at that. Let me see. Oh hell yeah! Oh. Right in the eyeball. That's amazing. <laughs> so cool. I love how they do light, man. Yeah. Man. It's always, funny. it's always funny to me because I can tell when people either like drawing horses or don't like drawing horses based on how much they draw of Huckleberry. <laughs> <laughs> when you're just a sausage. Yeah. You know. There's yeah. so much going on in this picture. It's awesome. So cool. I'm taking a I just like, Wode? <laughs> Wode must destroy the path. Reset. Why are you not here yet? Minus 100 HP. <laughs> 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 so good. Ooh, I think that's from uh, different creatures that has been on stream. That's awesome. Mmm. Yeah, Is it a caca Very demon? Cool. That's a beholder, or a redacted, because you know. And then you got the mind flare. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then Classic. the dargan. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh man. I knew Demi was going to do Huck art of that moment. Oh, yeah. that's so cool. Oh, man. I I don't know how he does that shit so fast in MS Paint. I It's so funny because, like, as soon... When when you were saying, like, you will have Violet Death if you fail this, I was like, it just goes to show that, like, I just commissioned a picture of Huck, and I swear to God, if he dies, I'm going to be <laughs> so sad. Post-mortem picture, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> tate i'm sorry man what <laughs> oh. man we i mean he turned himself into a bow funniest shit i've ever seen <laughs> i like how you you called me up for that <laughs> one last ride whoa awesome hell Couple yeah Barry. that's cool I'm not giving away my... Heck you, shark! <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I Ooh. really hope... Sorry, go ahead. Look at this one. Oh, this is old. I've seen this. Uh, this is from season can. one. Yeah. yeah I retweeted really this. Ago. That's yeah. cool. It's still good, though. It is a very yeah. good picture. Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah, God. The demon. Oh, that's the first time I've seen anybody draw the hat of Haro like that. That's really cool. It's fucking cool. Hey, oh, awesome. Read this hmm. next bit out loud. As me or Eustace? Ye Eustace. I may mess up big time sometimes, but I always try to make it right. I'll see you again one day, my friends. This is my gamble. Oh, it's so cool, dude! That's such a good line. Oh my god. More of Huck taking on the fucking shark. Hell so yeah. Cool. Man, that, that was, was sick. Awesome. Yeah, that was a big risk. Whew. So cool. I think we've seen this one, but this one's awesome. A fucking Huck, man. Yep. No, oh, that's so I cool. I remember this one. He's so that's swole, sick. dude. That's a really yeah. like detailed horse. Holy shit. Yeah. It, it, it goes Whoa. back to the. 
How much do they like drawing horses? How much horses? do they like drawing horses? That's the question. That's a beefy sauce. This person likes drawing horses. Dude. He just here. arrives. Uh, I miss I those can, arms. I just, I, I just want to see this exact picture, and then next frame, it's like, and arms are gone. <laughs> Stands up. Whoop. What if I just jumped? <laughs> Combat eight bit. Awesome. Yeah, you weren't just gonna just fucking <laughs> leap away. I thought about it, dude. Cool. I thought I about it. I believe it. All right, looks like we got to the end of the fan art for this session. Uh, I posted the sketch in in chat. If you want to post that, it's actually pretty cool. I'm looking. I'm gazing. I'm pogging. This one's sick. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Do you draw this? No, no, this is what I'm commissioning. It's going to be nice. watercolor, so it's going to be a traditional piece. Mm, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. But What's yeah. up with that line? Oh, that's that's big. That's a uh, loud iron. That's the bar for the or the the handle. Oh. Yeah. So he's like oh my God. it over his shoulder. Dude, I must be tired, man. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that dude was wearing glasses. I thought I thought like it was some sort of like painter technique or some bullshit. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot for playing, guys. Hope you guys had a good. Thanks time. for having us. Yeah, that was awesome. Can't wait for next week. Heck yeah, next week we finish the fight. Finish the fight. My I favorite. Really have, uh, I've already, already thrown my idea of what to do next session. I'm just posting it so I don't forget. <sighs> What's your idea? Posted it in Discord. It's a secret for chat. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> had enough time to be a hero. <laughs> yeah, okay. Bob, he, he will kill you. <laughs> no, nope, I mean, that's one of his plan. powers is literally dead. devouring you. <laughs> nope, you're dead. nope, that's the plan. I'm sticking okay. to it. I'm doing right. it. Thank there you there guys. has to be a, a second part to that plan. Nope, that's the plan. No, I don't think there is, man. <laughs> that's it? That's, that's, the, plan? Plan. that's, that's the plan? That's the whole plan? Dude, that's Gip the whole plan. Gonna, gonna be so happy that Eustace comes back and tells them they're not the stupidest motherfuckers they've met. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for playing and for hanging out with me. It means so much that you guys play. Thank you. I think we so love much. it, man. All it's right. Good time. And now, <laughs> if you'll excuse me, I have to go back to work because now I have to. Um, I Can have you hold to... on to these for me? I have to I have to work on all this stuff that happened last time in another game, so I have to go deal with that. Oh, there thank you, go, you. Dude. thank you, Baru. Hey, just, just hold on to those for me. Okay, bud. Good luck. See you later, guys. See you guys. Oh, all right. Now I've got to do some prep work. Oh, right. I also need to go over the.